Mass Effect 2, yes. And yes, new game. I am import Mass Effect 1 character. Yeah, that's the right one, right? Okay, so you can just choose to import a character. Hopefully, hopefully that'll work. Um, and yes, subtitles on, squad power usage on. Actually, I want that off because I like using it myself. Uh, auto level up, no. Normal, yep. Auto save, yep. Okay, continue. And, okay. Okay, so service history, imported save game details, rank 55, infiltrator, okay, paragon, followed the paragon path, status of Rex, survived the mission on Vermeer, Ashley Williams was killed, okay, the council was lost during the attack on the Citadel, Commander Shepard recommended Captain Anderson for a seat on the council, that all looks correct. And I'm assuming you can't change that. So yes, let's get in and see what this game is about. I also just realized I kind of forgot water, so that's fun. Also, is this really gonna be really loud? Okay. Did everything right. More than we could have hoped for. Commander Shepard uncovered the truth. And still it's not enough. We're at war. No one wants to admit it, but humanity is under attack. But they're sending her to fight Geth. Geth. We both know they're not the real threat. The Reapers are still out there. And it's up to us to stop them. Who the fuck is this? The is this a hitman villain? They'll never accept our help, even after everything humanity has accomplished. But Shepard. Wait, is that Cerberus? As in, like. He's a hero, a bloody icon. But is that Cerberus the ones who were doing weird stuff in the first game? Then see to it that we don't lose her. Who the fuck is this? Is that Saren but human? <laughs> One month after the devastating Geth attack on the Citadel, humanity seized political control of the galaxy. Now the human-led council is forced to respond to evidence from that the Reapers, enormous machines that eradicated all advanced civilizations nearly 50,000 years ago. That was not... Anyway. I really hate it when games do that. Just give me time to read it. Okay, and there's the Normandy. I wonder what our first mission is. Okay. Hey, I know this ship. Disengaging FTL drives. Emission sinks active. Board is green. We are running silent. Okay. We're wasting our time. Four days searching up and down this sector, and we haven't found any sign of Geth activity. It's Presley. Three ships went missing here in the past month. Something happened to him. Hey, Joker! Slavers. The Terminus system is crawling with him. Oh no, not the Terminus systems. Unidentified vessel. Hmm, looks like a cruiser. Doesn't match any known signatures. Uh-oh. That's... Um... Now on intercept trajectory. Can't be. Stealth systems are engaged. There's no way a Geth ship could possibly... It's not the Geth. Brace for evasive maneuvers! What the fuck? Uh oh. Presley. Uh oh. Weapons offline. Somebody get that fire out. That's a big fire, Joker. Maybe it's time to abandon ship. Also, I'm going to turn the volume down in a second because this is fucking loud. Oh my god, it's... It's thingy. What's her face? Shepard. Distress beacon is ready for launch. Will the Alliance get here in time? They'll be here. The Alliance 
won't abandon us. We just need to hold on. Get everyone onto the escape shuttles. Sorry, I'm having to take my headphones off slightly because it's really loud for me. I don't know why. I need you to get the crew onto the evac shuttles. I'll take care of Joker. Shepard, Liara, go. Now. Aye, aye. Can I pause right now and just like... No, I can't. Okay. Okay, that's good. Oh, jeez. Uh, the game, the, the, the game is not hitting 60 right now. Um, which is... Oh, shit. Ow. Ow. Okay, they are abandoning ship. That's good. Okay. Wait, was, um... Shepard still on the ship? Did Shepard get off the ship? Oh, fuck. Dude! Dude! Get off the fucking ship! Where am I... Where am I going? Oh, no! Not the Normandy! It was the best bit of the game! Uh oh. Um. Joker. Joker. Joker, please. Oh shit. Oh fuck, that's cool. Oh fuck, it's had been torn open. Joker. Joker, are you okay? Can we can we get Joker out? Cause. He doesn't have... His legs don't... Aren't, very, aren't usable, right? Isn't that the thing? Come on, Joker. We have to get out of here. No, I won't abandon the Normandy. I can still save her. The Normandy's lost. Going down with the ship won't change that. Yeah, okay. Help me up. Yeah, because... Okay. Oh, fuck. You're fucking kidding me, right? What the fuck is that ship? Come on. Come on, Joker. We can do this. Come on, you two. Ow, 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 loud. Really loud, right on my face. Okay. Joker's gonna survive. I'm not. Oh. F and chat. Dude's... Shepard's dead. Rip. Okay, well that ends. There ends Mass Effect 2. Yep. Wait, what the fuck? How did she survive that? You serious? She... she fucking... oh. Never mind. Her air tank's gone. Um... Oh, fuck. And she's gonna burn up in the atmosphere. Well, good game everyone! Bye! <laughs>
Oh, it's never good when something's called the fucking Lazarus Project. It's never good. The Lazarus Project is like... The... Oh, no. That's... That's not a good... That's... No! Oh, for fuck's sake. Ow. Am I gonna turn into a big weird scorpion thingy? Um, because cause that could... That could be bad. We, we saw what happens with that in Doctor Who. Oh, shit. Save your crew from an overwhelming attack. Okay, accept imported face. Yes. You know what? Can I just... Can I adjust that? And I'm going to go for an infiltrator again. Um... Yeah, okay. I'm going to go for that again. Yep, and that's all fine. Accept. Confirm. That's fine by me. I quite like that. That's a cool way of getting, giving people the option to redo their character. Oh no, that's a bad sign, isn't it? I think she's waking up. Oh fuck. Damn it, Watson. She's not ready yet. Give her the sedative. Shepard, don't try to move. Just lie still. Try to stay calm. Okay. Brain activity is off the charts. Stats pushing into the red zone. It's not working. Another dose. Now. So how many times am I going to die in this fucking game? <laughs> falling back into normal range. Okay, never mind. Too close. He almost lost it. I told you your estimates were off. Run the numbers again. That's uncomfortably close, Miranda. <laughs> Hey, it's it's Shepard back with a few extra scars it seems. <sighs> Do I not get a break? I never get a break in this game. It's been it's been 5 minutes. It's been 5 minutes of in-game time. And and we just Yeah, I know. Uh-oh. Okay. Well, this game looks a lot fancier than Mass Effect 1. You'd think they'd make him more can- hang on, just one sec. Also, I am just going to turn down the fucking volume because this is way too loud. Um, oh god, there's no master volume thing. I hate it when that's... Like, give me master and then the additional options. I'm going to put them down to about half and then the dialogue at about 60. That's better. can actually hear myself thinking. Wait, is there ammo? Oh god. Hang on, just one sec. Also, <laughs> graphics, um, motion blur, off. Film grain, off. Yep, that's all fine, though. Um, good. <laughs> okay. Hold W plus spacebar. Wait, also squad? I can just... Disruptor ammo. Okay, you know what? I'll sort that out later. What am I doing? Oh, W plus spacebar. What the? F okay. What the? F the 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 everything's very different in this. Oh, there's a lot of dead people. Rip. Um. Oh God. This is probably not good just after surgery. Personally, what the? F Yes. What are these and why are you showing me to them? It just appeared on screen. I don't know why. Um. Shepard, security makes a closing in on your position. Take cover. 
Okay, so this is the... Wait, do I have tech powers? I have disruptor ammo and tactical... Okay. Right. Oh shit, there's a lot more than I thought. I was confused then. Ow. Um, how do I heal? Right. Nice. That's fucking cool. Okay. Damn. The combat feels a lot more refined in this game. Although a bit more generic too. I quite like the... What are these and why can I interact with them? Also... Oh, is this fucking... Is that fucking ammo just littered everywhere? Oh, well, that's... Okay. What the fuck is the mech doing? Grenade launcher! Oh my god, I get a grenade launcher. Well, that's just fun. Um. Okay. That's not a grenade. That's not a grenade launcher. That's a fucking rocket launcher. <laughs> I, I don't think that's a... Wait, I can't just drop down. It said elevator? Oh, this is the elevator. Okay. Ow. Okay, so you can just run through fire. Right. Progress is slow, but shows signs of recovery. Major organs are again functional and there are signs. Why why is she so stretched? Yep, we need to escape, but I'm going to stop and watch this. Don't worry. Okay, well, that's that. Wall safe. Oh, yeah. Salvage recovered. Log update. The cost of this project is astronomical. Over 4 billion credits so far. But nobody seems to care that we've gone over budget. I don't know where the boss gets all his money. Maybe it's better not to know. I just wish he'd kick a little more in my direction once in a while. Huh. Okay, so someone had a reason to bring me back, and I assume it's not just me being this, a specter, because that would be too simple. There's another reason they want me back, and I'm not sure what it is. Who the f- Well, Jesus fuck! Okay. What are you doing here? I thought you were still a work in progress. Um, who are you? With Miranda? Yeah, sorry. I forgot this is all new to you right now. I'm Jacob Taylor. I've been stationed here for Hostiles detected. Damn it! Okay, so he's gonna die. Or maybe not. Maybe he's one of the companions. I don't know. I'll fill you in, but we better get you to the shuttle first. Okay. I know this isn't the best time, but I'm sick of stumbling around when I don't know what's going on. Fair enough. I'll give you the quick version. You and your ship were attacked and destroyed. You were killed. Dead as dead can be when they brought you here. Our scientists spent the last two years putting you back together. Two oh, years! Or worse, that whole time. Welcome back to your life. Um, where is here? It isn't. I can't say much more than that for now. The Alliance officially declared you killed in action. 
the whole galaxy thinks you're dead. And if we don't get to those shuttles, they'll be right. Are there any other survivors from the Normandy? I'll tell you what. You help me finish off these mechs, and I'll play 20 questions with you all day. We're low okay, fair levels, enough. But I'm a biotic. Just give the order when you ah, want to hit Ah, so he place. is a companion. Right, um, so if I... Can I get him to do something? Okay. Okay. I was. I like how I just got the soldier achievement for getting one thousand enemies killed, three enemies into the game. Great. Um. You said they spent two years rebuilding me. How bad were my injuries? I'm no doctor, but it was bad. When I first saw you, you were nothing but meat and tubes. Anywhere else, they'd have put you in a coffin. But Project Lazarus was different. Cutting edge technology. What do you mean, cloning? Cybernetics? I don't know the details. You'd have to ask the scientists. But I'm pretty sure you're not a clone. They wanted to bring you back exactly as you were. You're still you. You just might have a few extra bits and pieces now. Um... Can you tell me about the project? Were there other test subjects? Project Lazarus only had one subject. The whole point was to bring you back. Just you. Well, that's... That was a challenge. Two years. All the top scientists. The best technology money could buy. Jesus, that's ridiculous. Do you know anything about this attack? Who's behind it, what they're after? Damn if I know. I was getting ready for some shut-eye, then BAM! Bunch of explosions. Next thing I know, every damn mech in the place starts shooting at us. I'm guessing uh. inside job. You'd need top security access to hack all the mechs. The last thing I remember is the Normandy blowing up. Did anyone else make it? Just about everybody survived. A few servicemen from the lower decks didn't get out. Navigator Presley was killed by an explosion. But everyone else, including the non-alliance crew, the Asari, Liara, and the Quarian, they all made it out. Hey! Tully made it out! Do you know what any of them are doing now? I don't know, Commander. It's been two years. They've moved on. Left the Alliance. Could be anywhere. They were my team. They knew I was alive, they'd come back. Maybe you can track them down after we get off the station. If we get off the station. Okay. What's your job here? Depends on who you ask. Technically, I'm Miranda's top lieutenant. But I'm just a soldier. I served five years in the Alliance before this. Now I'm in charge of the station's security. Usually a lot more dull than this. Normally I don't fire my gun unless it's target practice. Well, I mean, it would be a bad, it would be a, it wouldn't be very, um, good for business if you were constantly being attacked by people. When I first woke up, someone named Miranda was talking to me over the radio. We lost contact just before I ran into you. Miranda Lawson is the station's ranking officer. She led the Lazarus team. It was her job to bring you back to life, no matter what. She okay. She tried to save you. She's not about to give up on you now. You said you lost contact. Could you tell what was happening? Yeah, it didn't sound good. Firing an explosion right before I lost her. She knows how to take care of herself. But I hope she's okay. Okay. The quickest way to those shuttles. Depends where the mechs are thickest. It's probably best if we check. Check. Anyone on this frequency? Anybody oh, it's Wilson. Hello? The one who called Miranda a bitch. Wilson. Multiple times. I'm here with Commander Shepard. Just took out a wave of mechs over in D-wing. Shepard's alive. They want Shepard dead. Is Stay on this frequency. I think I remember a Wilson checking on me one time when I woke up. That's him. He's the chief medical tech. Answers directly to Miranda. Come on. The service tunnels are this way. This way? Wait, which which way are we heading? Okay. Wait, which way are we heading? 
No, that way is that way locked. Yeah, that way's locked. Okay, so this way then. Yeah, it it feels a lot more smooth than the the Mass Effect one. It's aged better. Oh, I thought that was the screen blinking then. No, that was just oh. Uh, the papers. I was like, oh god, that's bad. No, that's that's just fucking paper. Um the papers come to kill us. To be fair, he is right. There have been a load of mechs, so he's doing a good job if we're not dead, you know? So do they explode like in fucking... Okay. Uh, he's gonna be dead. When we get there, he's gonna be completely dead. Shepard, down here. Bastards got me in the leg. You were there the first time I regained consciousness. Yeah, that was me. <laughs> How about we talk about this after we fix my leg? Should be some metagel in the first aid station on the wall. Okay. Hopefully enough to get him up and moving again. Grab the metagel from the first aid station on the wall. Oh, all right. Is that what we need to do? Yeah. Okay. Just Thanks. unity. Okay. Never thought you'd save my life. Guess that makes us even now. I thought maybe I could shut down the security mechs, but whoever did this fried the whole system. Completely irreversible. I bet exactly. it was Miranda. Do you even have security mech clearance? You were in the bio wing. Weren't you listening? I came here to try and fix this. Besides, I was shot. How do you explain that? I don't trust any of you yet. Let's get someplace safe and then we'll sort out whose fault it is. Right, Shepard. We need to find Miranda. We can't leave her behind. Forget about Miranda. She was over in D-Wing. The mechs were all over that sector. There's no way she survived. A bunch of mechs won't drop Miranda. She's alive. Then where is she? So is Miranda this this no, game's fucking um she's Ashley a or she's a traitor? Then why did she wake me up and warn me about the attack? Okay, maybe she's not a traitor, but that doesn't change the facts. We're here, she's not. We need to save ourselves. The shuttle bay is only a few. Okay, so Wilson's dead. Overload on the crates. Through those canisters. Overload on the crates. Hang on. What? What am I doing this on? Hang on, am I supposed to do it before it, like... Hang on, wait, what? What am I doing? What am I hitting? What? Game. Wait, am I using the wrong thing? Oh! I was I was getting confused. I mistook. I thought disruptor was fucking overload. But this is getting tense. Shepard, if I tell you who we work for, will you trust me? This really isn't the time, Jacob. We won't make it if she's expecting a shot in the back. If you mm. want to piss off the boss, it's your ass, Jacob. The Lazarus Project, the program that rebuilt you. Funded and controlled by Cerberus. That sounds familiar. 
universe a few times while I was investigating Saren. Some kind of pro-human splinter group, right? Well, that's what the Alliance wants people to believe. But there's more to it. The Alliance declared you dead. They gave up. Cerberus spent a fortune to bring you back. Yeah, but they wouldn't do that without a reason. Right now, we have to work together. I thought you deserved to know what's what. Okay, Jacob seems trustworthy-ish. I'm not certain because Cerberus, but out of everyone I've seen so far, Elusive man. Jacob is the most uh, trustworthy. Of course, nobody knows who he really is. Wow, his real name is an elusive man. That is the most amazing thing I have ever heard. I don't care what they did or what you say. I am not working with terrorists. You can tell it to the boss, but after we've saved our butts, we're almost at the shuttle. Okay. Hang on, what am I doing? Wait, so that brings up the little mini map. Okay. So the mini map isn't up by default. Okay. Oh god, that sounds bad. Does anyone have a sniper rifle, by the way? That would be really useful right now. Nice. Hang on, could someone do, like, anything? Okay, there's definitely more travel time than there used to be. That is actually surprisingly slow. Is this the way? Wait, which way's the way? Okay, wait, no, this is the way. I meant to go another way. We're almost at the... Yep. Miranda, but you were... Dead. What the hell are you doing? My job. Wilson betrayed us all. That's your idea of due process? If you're sure, did he deserve that welcome? He sabotaged the security systems, killed my staff, and he would have killed us. You sure about that, Miranda? We've known Wilson for years. What if you're wrong? I'm never wrong. I thought you'd have learnt that by now, Jacob. You should have taken him alive, see what he knew. Too risky. I've put too much time and effort bringing you back to life to let you get killed now. You really think Wilson's capable of that? Not anymore. <laughs> Amazing. If you say so. What's our next step? We get on the shuttle and go. My boss wants to speak to you. You mean the elusive man? I know you work for Cerberus. Ah, Jacob. I should have known your conscience would get the better of you. I like Jacob. Commander isn't the way to get her to join our cause. Well, since we're getting everything out in the open, is there anything else you want to ask before we go, Commander? Convenient that you show up as we're leaving. Where were you during the attack? Besides trying to save your life? Wilson figured out I was helping you when he sent an army of mechs to take me out. I got here as soon hmm. as I could. Probably a little too soon if you ask Wilson. Huh. What about the rest of the people on the station? This is the evac area. If they're not here now, they're not coming. Oh. We can't leave without knowing for sure. We need to go back and look. Don't you get it? The only one worth saving is you. Everyone else is expendable. She's right. We all knew the risks when we signed up. Without you, there's no point to any of this. Okay, but I can go back and just, like, turn around. Where are we going? Another Cerberus facility. The elusive man is waiting for you there. And if I don't come along? I'm sure I trust you. This is the only shuttle off the station. You want to stay and rot with the mechs? Be my guest. What if I just shot them all? You're the Lazarus Project's director, aren't you? That's right. I put two years of my life into this project. 
And to you. Why? Cerberus want from me. Maybe you should ask the elusive man when you meet him. He poured virtually unlimited resources into Lazarus. Obviously, he has some kind of plan for you. Okay. I've had enough of this station to last a lifetime. Or two, in your case. Come on. I mean, technically... Wait, is it one life? Hang on, that's a confusing thing. Because... No, lifetime kind of implies the full span of a human life. Which is... What, they said, like, 100 to 150 years? Ooh, I like the little wobble. The little wibble was fun. Before you meet with the elusive man, we need to ask a few questions to evaluate your condition. Come on, Miranda. More tests? Shepard took down those mechs without any trouble. That has to be good enough. It's been two years what is with the lighting in this scene? It's weird. Personality and memories are intact. Ask the questions. Huh. Did you say two years? Been gone that long? Two years and twelve days. And you were on an operating table for most of it. After you know falling start, through the atmosphere. We can be done. Start with personal history. Okay. Records show you grew up on Earth. Tough environment, no parents. You enlisted and you survived a Thresher Maw attack that wiped out the rest of your team. Do you remember that? I lost a lot of friends that day. Ooh, my face glows! Oh my god, it's like a whole fucking dark side, light side thing from Thingy. You were the only one who lived. Satisfied, Miranda. Almost. Let's try something more recent. Vermeyer, where you destroyed Saren's cloning facility. You had to leave one of your squad behind to die in the blast. Gunnery Chief Ashley Williams was killed in action. It was your call. Why did you leave her behind? I left a friend to die that day, and I didn't do it casually. But I had to save as many people as I could. Ash gave her life for the rest of the team. Without her, I couldn't have stopped Saren. She died a hero. I mean, we I didn't stop Stat Saren. Judging your decision, everybody at Cerberus knows that cloning facility had to be destroyed. There are other tests we really should run. Come on, Miranda. Enough with the quizzes. The memories are there, and I can vouch for Shepard's combat skills. Personally. Yeah, I managed to shoot most of them in the head. That was impressive. Man accepts our little field test as evidence enough. Ooh, fancy little weird. It looks like a fucking sextant, but stretched. That sounds rude. The elusive, <laughs> the elusive man. For all the manliness of the elusiveness. I wouldn't keep the elusive man waiting. But I want to. The elusive man is waiting for you in the other room. Customize. <gasps> oh my! I can. Oh my god! I can change it. Wait, why? Recon hood. That's. I absolutely adore the fact that that's so weird. Wait, is there no armor in this game or what? Okay, wait. There's nothing else. There's just helmet. Okay, can you customize the appearance separate? Huh. I kind of want to do that for now. Casual appearance. Outfit. Oh my gosh, I can just change it to... Can just wear a fucking dress. That's quite fun. I'm gonna just go for that. Um, and then recon. I quite like the recon helmet. I look like some kind of fucking. I don't know, like an. I'm gonna be honest. I look like a Marvel villain from one of the new films. Kind of shit. No, never mind. Um, <laughs> I quite like that. I also quite like that. Yeah, sure. Saving content. Please do not turn off your computer. Why would I just turn off my computer? <laughs> I don't think this is the elusive man, to be honest. I, I think it's going to be him protected by, like, I don't know, a force field or something. Elusive man. 
I thought we'd be meeting face to face. Unnecessary precaution. Not unusual for people who know what you and I know. You don't know me. I'm still alive, but that doesn't mean I trust you. You need to put your personal feelings aside. Humanity is up against the greatest threat of our brief existence. The Reapers. Good to see your memory still intact. How are you feeling? You need to earn the right to ask me those kinds of questions. Cerberus isn't as evil as you believe. You and I are on the same side. We just have different methods. That does kind of determine side, though. I love the fact I'm slightly stretched. It's great. No one wants to admit it, but humanity is under attack. While you've been sleeping, entire colonies have been disappearing. Human colonies. We believe it's someone working for the Reapers. Just as Saren and the Geth aided Sovereign. You've seen okay. it yourself. You bested all of them. That's just one reason we chose you. Fighting a war doesn't seem like Cerberus. Why are you involved? We're committed to the advancement and preservation of humanity. If the Reapers are targeting us, trying to wipe us out, Cerberus will stop them. If we wait for politicians or the Alliance to act, no more human colonies will be left. Sovereign was trying to harvest all life in the galaxy. Why would the Reapers target a few human colonies? Hundreds of thousands of colonists have vanished. I'd say that fits the definition of harvesting. Nobody's paying attention because it's random, and the attacks occur in remote locations. I don't know why they've suddenly targeted humanity. Maybe you got their attention when you killed one of them. Fighting a war doesn't seem like Cerberus. Why are you Wait, I thought I already asked that one, but hey. For politicians or the alliance to act. Oh my god, it was just the fucking same thing. If this is a threat against humanity, you need to mobilize the Alliance. The Alliance is overwhelmed by the responsibility you gave them. They're too busy building relations to put resources into verifying the Reaper threat. I didn't the give them that. Mercs and pirates is easier and more convenient. Wait, I didn't give them that. If what you say is true, if the Reapers are behind this, I'd consider helping you. I'd be disappointed if you accepted any of this without seeing for yourself. I have a shuttle ready to take you to Freedom's Progress, the latest colony to be abducted. Miranda and Jacob will brief you. Miranda killed Wilson in cold blood. Jacob's just a gun for hire. You expect me to trust them? Wilson was one of my best agents, but he was a traitor. Miranda did exactly what I expected of her, and she saved your life in more ways than one. Jacob's a soldier, one of the best. He's never fully trusted me, but he's always been honest about it. You'll be just fine with them. For now. Is this a volunteer job, or am I being volunteered? You always hmm. have a choice, Shepard. If you don't find the evidence we're both looking for, we can part ways. But first, go to Freedom's Progress. Find any clues you can. Who's abducting the colonies? Do they have any connection to the Reapers? I brought you back. It's up to you to do the rest. I like how his chair doesn't have a shadow, but he does. Um. Okay. Right. Okay. With more points, you can unlock new conversation options. I've gone a very Paragon route so far. Okay, so Disruptor Ammo is, I don't know, rips through, okay. I've already got that one. Okay, that one unlocks, what is, this is very different to, uh, hang on, Tactical Cloak. There's a lot fewer powers than I remember. Operative. Okay. Wait, how many ranks do I have? Squad points. Wait, do squad points go to everyone or just me? I don't know. Tactical cloak is fun. I'm going to put a couple into that. In fact, I'm going to... Um... Tactical cloak can be on too. Yep, that sounds good. Uh, explode nearby. Okay. And then I'll put one into that. Perfect. 
Okay, and then we'll sort out the rest as we go. God. The UI is a completely different color in this game, for whatever reason. Um... Also, I really hate how big that journal thing is on the right. Oh my god. Can you just... I'm just gonna wait for the thing to happen. Oh my god, game. <laughs> okay. Right, so... The elusive man is very impressed with you. I'm eager to see if you can live up to his expectations on this mission. I never got a chance to say how much I appreciated what the Lazarus Project did for me. I just hope it was worth it. A lot of people lost their lives on that station. We have to work together here. Your attitude isn't helping anything. I have the utmost respect for your abilities, Shepard. It's your motivations that concern me. I believe in what Cerberus stands for. Only time will tell if you prove to be an asset or a liability to our cause. Well, it depends. What can you tell me about this colony we're going to? Freedom's Progress? It's a typical human settlement in the Terminus systems. They had a small military force for protection supplemented by mechs and security hmm. drones. Average in almost every way, really. The mechs and security <laughs> drones are new. Things have things have changed a lot in two years. Why are we moving towards more mechanics when we're going up against mechanicals? Because I've seen how that works in Stellaris. It's bad. Um. <laughs> Any thoughts on what we might run into there? A lot of empty buildings and one giant mystery. Uh. I'd like to know more about the Lazarus Project from the person in charge. I wasn't in charge. The elusive man was. If I was running the show, we'd have done a few things differently. Like what? Yeah. Would you have changed? To start, I would have implanted you with some type of control chip. But the elusive man wouldn't allow it. He was afraid it might affect your personality, alter your character somehow. He wouldn't let us do anything that might limit your potential in any way. I'm glad he was in charge. I like the idea of being brought back to life with a control chip in my brain. And that's exactly why they need it, risk to be honest. I just hope his gamble pays off. Hmm. Tell me a little about yourself. Worried about my qualifications? I can crush a mech with my biotics or shoot its head off at a hundred yards. Take your pick. I wanted more than a resume. I was trying to get to know you as a human being. I'm not looking for a friend, Shepard. Stay focused on the mission. I mean, fair enough. Did you and Jacob serve together in the Alliance? No. The elusive man recognized my potential and recruited me at a young age. How old were you? Old enough to know this is what I wanted. Hmm. At a young age? It's obvious you're not interested in talking. We've got an assignment. We can talk about it or we can do it. I'm glad the elusive man convinced you to join us, Commander. I just want to find out what happened to those missing people. I still don't trust Cerberus. Noted. Do you trust me, Commander? You're a good man, Jacob. But you might be working for the wrong people. Maybe. But I thought the same when I was with the Alliance. That's why I'm here now. Do you know anything about this colony we're going to? It's called Freedom's Progress. Don't know much else. I guess we'll find out when we get there. Okay. You said you served in the Alliance. Five years in total. Stationed all over the galaxy. Even spent a couple of years as a Corsair. A Corsair? I've never heard of the Corsairs. It was an Alliance initiative. They hired independent starship captains and used them for missions that fell outside official Alliance jurisdiction. Oh. Technically, we weren't part of the Alliance. If we ever got caught, they could disavow any knowledge of Okay, us. so basically mercenaries. The rules. There was still enough red tape to sink a cruiser. I finally just gave up. Okay, so basically mercenaries to cut costs and so cut corners. Hmm. Sounds very, so yeah, sounds very military. Pointless. I thought things would change after the attack on the Citadel. The old council was dead, and humanity took control of the new one. But nothing changed. Politics, bureaucracy, same bullshit, different leaders. Cerberus is different. When colonies go missing... We don't commission a team to write a report to figure out what the hell to do about it. We just go and find out. Hmm. That's all for now. Yes, ma'am. Okay, so that is all on that. 
Aside from that, I don't think there's anything we can do here unless we can go through and talk to other people. Which I don't think so, because it seemed kind of blocked off. Yeah, yeah, there's nothing we can do here. Hang on, how do I go to... Okay, right, let's head over to the... Oh, shit. Okay, I'm so confused. Elusive man put us under your command. Do you have any orders? What did you find at the other colonies? Nothing. No signs of attack, no corpses, not even a trace of unusual genetic material to give us a clue. So they just got raptured or something. Okay. Are you sure you'll be comfortable following my orders? We didn't bring you back from the dead just to second guess you, Commander. If the elusive man says you're in charge, you're in charge. What makes you think this investigation will turn up anything new? At other colonies, official investigators got there first. Sometimes looters or salvage teams as well. We're hoping to be the first ones there this time. Maybe find clues before somebody else disturbs the scene. Right. Our first priority is to look for survivors. That's unlikely, Commander. No one was left at the other colonies. They were completely deserted. Be nice to find somebody. Anything's better than another ghost town. Right, so, we're in an abandoned colony that's completely empty. Why do I get a feeling that something's gonna be going on? Oh, Jesus. Ow. Ow. Bly- That was very bright. Blimey. <laughs> okay. How do I holster weapons? Field is clear. Right. N-50. NS1? It looks very much like the Normandy kind of thing. Okay. Ooh, cool. I like my helmet. Is everyone else going to keep their control things out? Okay, it's very dark. I don't know if it's supposed to be, but I might turn up the brightness. Just Hang on, also I should... um. I should... Uh, sort out these. Yeah, there's a lot fewer powers than I'm used to from Mass Effect 1. That's kind of disappointing. I'm going to put a couple ranks in that. And then I'm going to put a couple in that. Okay, and then are you pure... Yeah, you're pure... Um, Are you... Okay. Also, how do I... Hang on, what are the... Oh yeah, I was going to change the brightness. Calibration. Um... Okay, that, that might be slightly better. Okay, yeah, that's slightly better. It is... Uh, there's a lot more contrast in this game. It's a lot less... That is kind of creepy. Okay. Hmm. This is worrying. Also, wait, do I have a sniper rifle now? Sniper rifle! Oh, thank fuck. That's what I'm good with, right? Right? I can't remember. Hang on. Hang on. What was my thing? Because Infiltrator was, I think Infiltrator was Sniper Rifle, yeah, so we'll go over to that for now. No bodies, no structural damage. I mean, is that strange? That's what you were expecting, right? Wow. Yeah, this game looks a lot nicer than Mass Effect 1. Which is strange considering it's all remastered and released at the same time. Um. Okay. 
Are they going to shout hostiles are clear whenever I do anything? E? Um. Oh shit! Security systems were disabled at the colonies. Okay, nice. Okay, well that has a lot. That's a lot more effective. What the fuck are these? Someone reprogrammed them to attack on site. We're not alone here. Well, yeah, that is slightly worrying. Okay, that zooms in a lot more than a uh, thingy does. Okay, this is definitely made for us, like... <laughs> you can tell when something's made for console because the UI is way bigger than it needs to be. Um, that is a shot glass that disappeared. Oh, that's a fucking invincible shot class. Boo! Boo, I... S also, I realized I am 100%. Wait, what? Hang on. Wait, what? I'm so confused. Wait, what? What am I doing? Hang on. What was I doing? Highlight individual nodes to find matching symbols. When you found two matching symbols, select them to complete the circuit. Complete all circuits before you run out of... Okay. Oh, for fuck's sake. I thought that would deselect, not... Okay. Okay. Oh, fuck. Does it allow me to redo it? Yep. Oh, never mind. Hang on, deselect. Uh, okay. Those two... Um... Those two... Was it that one? Yeah. Wait, what? Oh, okay, you can't just keep it selected forever. Okay, perfect. Okay, interesting. Metagel recovered. I still don't have much ammo. Um... Hang on, so I basically... Okay, so basically I can't just use my sniper rifle for everything like I did in Mass Effect 1. Fair enough. Um... Tali! It's Tali! I'm not taking any chances with Cerberus operatives. Put those weapons down! Shepard? Is that... You're alive? Remember when I gave you that geth data, Tali? Did it help you complete your pilgrimage? Yes, it did. Fraza, weapons down. This is definitely Commander Shepard. Okay, her mask looks a lot cooler than it did in Mass Effect 1. No. Maybe we should ask. I nearly died, Tally. Cerberus spent two years rebuilding me. They want me to investigate attacks on human colonies. Likely story. No organization would commit so many resources to bring back one soldier. You haven't seen Shepard in action, Fraza. Trust me, it was money well spent. Perhaps we can work together. We're here looking for a young quarian named Vitor. He was here on pilgrimage. Why did he come here? Isn't that a little strange? A quarian visiting a remote human colony? Quarians can choose where they go on pilgrimage. Vitor liked the idea of helping a small settlement. He was always nervous in crowds. Okay. It means that he was unstable. Combine that with damage to his suit CO2 scrubbers and an infection from an open-air exposure, and he's likely delirious. When he saw us landing, he hid in a warehouse on the far side of town. We suspect he also programmed the mechs to attack anything that moved. Okay. 
Vitor is the only one who can tell us what happened here. We should work together to find him. Good idea. You'll need two teams to get past the drones anyway. Now we're working with Cerberus? No, Praza. You're working for me. If you can't follow orders, go wait on the ship. Head for the okay, she's growing up. She's she's become a bit more like... She's not the... She's not the young, like, um, naive qu quarian she was as a kid. Okay. Your people really don't like Cerberus. What did I miss? They killed our people, infiltrated our flotilla, and tried to blow up one of our ships. That's not how I'd have explained it exactly. It was nothing personal. We can argue over who killed who later. Right now we've got a job. Okay, to do. well Cerberus is getting we dropped in a I don't know blender. Ugh. Keep in radio contact. Will do. Good luck, Shepard. Whatever happens, it's good to have you back. Aw. Hello, Tali. Okay, Tali's gone. Okay. Thanks for the warning. We'll ah, yes. Those ones that just flew past and disappeared off instead of attacking me here and now. That's fun. Okay, there's still a photo mode in this. That's nice. Resources. I have loads of... I have different resources, including element zero. Prisoner zero. Um... Okay... Which ones am I looking? Okay. I quite I like this more than the uh, the other hacking mini game. This one's a lot nicer. Hang on, do I have overload? No, Tali has. Tali has overload, not Tali. Right. Okay. Shepard, Thraza and his squad rushed on ahead. I told them to wait, but they wouldn't listen. They want to find Vitor and take him away before you get here. We should have expected this. Oh, fuck. You still catch them. Oh, fuck. It's Tal I, I imagine Tali's on our side, but I'm not sure about the others. I'm not certain that it's going to end well for them. I don't think I'm going to die, but they're going to die if they turn on me. Oh. Harley, I really hope I don't have to do this, but I'm sorry in advance. Ah, oh, that's beautiful. Overload's a lot more powerful than it used to be. Is that all of them? No, not quite. Okay. I am just going... How do I... What do I use? There's two of them! That's not good! Okay. Shepard, you take point. Going to ground. Going to cover. Going to cover. Um, I'm going to just. Oh shit. No. Okay, that wasn't Tali, right? That wasn't Tali, right? That mech's got heavy armor plating. Those quarians never stood a chance. Where's Tali? Tough son of a bitch to take down. 
Okay, time to switch over to a sniper rifle. Ow! Jesus, okay. How do I deal with this? Oh. Get into cover! Um, okay. Okay, we're through the armor. Right. Just keep it going. Oh, ho, ho. ow. Is that it? Is that it? Ah, okay. Damage, damaged Ymir mech. Hostiles are clear. Holly. This is your chance to go find Vitor while I tend to the wounded shepherd. He's probably somewhere in the back of the loading bay. Okay. Hang on, let's just check everywhere first. Anything here? Right. Monsters coming back. Mex will protect. Safe from swarms. Have to hide. No monsters. No swarms. Hmm. Swarms. Vitor? That sounds bad. No Vitor. Not here. Swarms can't find. Monsters coming. Have to hide. Nobody's gonna hurt you anymore. I don't think he can hear you, Commander. Have to hide. Mechs will protect. Swarms coming. Storm coming. Storm of swarms. You're human. Where did you hide? How come they didn't find you? Who didn't find us? The, the monsters. The swarms. They took everyone. We're not survivors, Vitor. We just got here. You don't know. You didn't see. But I see everything. Okay. Oh, that geth. What the hell is that? Is that a geth? My god. I think it's a collector. What the fuck is a collector? Is that some kind of alien? They're a species from somewhere beyond the Omega-4 relay. Only a few people have ever seen one in person. They usually work through intermediaries, like slavers or hired mercenaries. If they're involved with the Reapers somehow, it could explain what happened to the colonies. Hmm. The Collectors have advanced technology. They could have a weapon that disables an entire settlement at once. That's... Oh, fuck. The Seeker swarms. No one can hide. The Seekers find you. Freeze you, then the monsters take you away. Okay, insects of some kind. Why didn't the collectors take you? Swarms didn't find me. Monsters didn't know I was here. The collectors aren't known for being careless. Maybe his enviro suit kept him from showing up on their sensors. Or they were using technology specifically designed to detect humans. Only human colonies have been. Yeah, that is true. Maybe they weren't looking for Aquarians, so they didn't expect they didn't expect Aquarians, so they weren't looking. Seems like tiny insects. They go everywhere. They find you, then they sting you, freeze you. Sounds like miniature probes, maybe. Find victims, then immobilize them with a stasis field or nerve toxin. I want to know more about the collectors. Nobody knows much. They're so rare, a lot of people don't even believe they exist. More importantly, why are they abducting human colonists? What are they after? We were attacked by an unidentified ship. I'm assuming that was collectors. Because they said something about the Terminus. They said something about the Omega-4, which 
I believe is really good to have in your breakfast or something. Um, <laughs> Omega-4 Relay. Took the people onto the ship, and then they left. The ship flew away, but they'll be back for me. No one escapes. They won't. We're getting out of them, Commander. We appreciate what you told us. You were very helpful. I studied them, the monsters, the swarms. I recorded them with a <gasps> tool. Lots of readings, electromagnetic, dark energy. Dark energy. Be lucid, man. Grab the quarry and call the shuttle to come pick us up. What? Vitor is injured. He needs treatment, not an interrogation. We won't hurt him. We just need to see if he knows anything else. He'll be returned unharmed. Your people tried to betray us once already. If we give him to you, we'll never get the intel we need. Praza was an idiot, and he and his men paid for it. You're welcome to take Vitor's Omnitool data, but please, just let me take him. Yeah. You don't have to take Vitor and go. We could work together just like old times. I want to, but I can't. I've got a mission of my own. It's too important for me to abandon, even for you. When okay. It's over and I'm still alive. We'll see what happens. That sounds dangerous. What are you doing? I don't think Cerberus needs to hear about it, but it's in Geth space. That should tell you how important it is. Huh. Yeah, let's leave Vitor with Tali. He's traumatized and he needs medical care. Tali will give us the Omni tool data and take him to the flotilla. Understood, Commander. Thank you, Shepard. I'm glad you're still the one giving the orders. Good luck out there. If I find anything that can help you, I'll let you know. We're ready for pickup. I like the fact that she doesn't come along. She has her own stuff to do. That's quite cool. That's a good decision. First old companion you come across has things of her own to do and can't make time for you. That's quite nice. Shepard, good work on freedom's progress. The Quarians forwarded their Wow, that was a quick little mission. No new data, but it's a surprising olive branch given our history. You and I have different methods, but I can't argue with your results. You ever think about playing nice once in a while? Diplomacy is great when it works, but difficult when everyone already perceives you as a threat. Also, vi <laughs> I mean, you could make the same argument for violence too, but obviously violence works in some a lot of situations and doesn't work in others. If, you know. Why do I get the feeling you knew about them already? I had my suspicions, but I needed proof. The Collectors are enigmatic at best. They periodically travel to the Terminus systems, looking to gather seemingly unimportant items or specimens, usually in exchange for their technology. I like how they're like, this person is evil because he smokes a cigar constantly, and he has blue eyes. Until now, we've had no evidence of glowing eyes. Blue glowing eyes. Why is the Omega-4 relay unmapped? What do we know about it? Only that no ship passing through it has ever returned. Our best mm. guess is that the relay reacts differently to collector vessels, allowing them safe passage. Okay. If they can manipulate relays, that's just further evidence of the connection with the Reapers. I mean, anyone could figure out how to do the... Because the... What were they called? Um, The Protheans were on the cusp of unlocking uh, the Reaper, the um Mass Effect and stuff technology. So... I mean, it's not out of the question. It's really not out of the question that, like, the collectors could have been studying them intensely. Any ideas on why they've shifted their focus to humans? If they're agents for the Reapers, it could be any number of reasons. Obviously, humanity played a huge role in Sovereign's destruction. That might have been enough to draw... But how would the Reapers be giving them... ...why they bother abducting the colonists? Hmm. Once the humans are paralyzed, why not just kill them? What are the Collectors getting from these deals? The Collectors aren't very forthcoming about their motives. Generally, they seek out species with rare genetic mutations or abnormalities. They pay slavers and merc groups exorbitant sums to obtain these specimens, and then they leave. But they've never targeted a single species before, and the previous sample sizes were in the dozens, not the tens of thousands. Huh. You're holding something back. How do you know the Reapers are involved? The patterns are there, buried in the data. 
The Council and the Alliance want to believe the Reaper threat died with Sovereign. You and I know better. I mean, yeah, there's loads more out there. We need to take the fight to them. I mean, to be fair, he's right. This is a war. I'll need an army or a really good team. I've already compiled a list of soldiers, scientists, and mercenaries. You'll get dossiers on the best of them. Finding them and convincing them to work with you could be challenging, but you're a natural leader. I'll continue to track the collectors. When they make their next appearance, I'll notify you and your team. Be ready. Okay. Keep your list. I want people I trust. The ones who helped me stop Saren and the Geth. That was two years ago, Commander. Most of them have moved on, or their allegiances have changed. Okay. Where's Caden Alenko? He's still with the Alliance. Promoted, I believe. His file is surprisingly well classified. Rex? Where's Erdnot Rex? He returned to Chichanka, and he hasn't gone off-world in over a year. He's trying to unite... He went back! He went back! Oh, that beautiful, beautiful Krogan. What about Tally? She already helped us on Freedom's Progress. That was unexpected. I need more intel before I'll commit to that. Where's Garrus Vicarian? The Turian disappeared a few months after you were declared dead. Even we haven't been able to locate him. Well, that's impressive. Where's Liara Tissoni? She's on Ilium. My sources say that she's working for the Shadow Broker. If so, she can't be trusted. Hmm. Arrival to the Shadow Broker? Is... is... Okay, I get it. They're not available. You're a leader, Shepard. You'll get who you need. I'm still a Spectre. Maybe I can get the Council to help us out. If you think you could convince them, by all means. Just remember, you've been gone a long time. Things have changed. Okay. Don't worry about the collectors. I'll make sure my team's ready. Good. Two things before you go. First, head to Omega and find Morden Solus. He's a brilliant Solarian scientist. <gasps> Solarian. He may know how to counteract the collector's paralyzed. We didn't see much about the Solarians in the first game. I haven't even started and you're telling me what to do. I'm giving you direction. What you do with it is up to you. I'm sure you'll make the right decision. All right. What's the other thing? I found a pilot I think you might like. <gasps> I hear he's Is it Joker? Someone you can trust. Joker! Yay! Hey, Commander. Just like old times, huh? I can't believe it's you, Joker. Look who's talking. I saw you get spaced. Got lucky. With a lot of strings attached. How'd you get here? It all fell apart without you, Commander. Everything you stirred up, the Council just wanted it gone. The team was broken up, records sealed, and I was grounded. The Alliance took away the one thing that mattered to me. Hell yeah, I joined Cerberus. You really trust the elusive man? Huh. I don't trust anyone who makes more than I do. But they aren't all bad. Saved your life. Let me I like die. Joker. I like Joker a lot. He's great. They only told me last night. Wait, really? They rebuilt the Normandy? It looks a lot shinier. Well, well, well. Good to be home, huh, Commander? I guess we'll have to give her a name. So we're gonna give her a name Normandy, right? Wow! Looks a lot prettier than in the first game. Wow, cool. Okay, and...
Okay. Oh, it looks like the Normandy. It's the Normandy. And I'm guessing we just called it the Normandy again. Maybe we should name it after another French province. Wait, is Normandy... Wait, Normandy is in France, right? Welcome aboard the new Normandy, Commander. I'm trying to remember whether it's French or Italian. I've been looking over the dossiers. I'd strongly recommend starting by acquiring Morden Solus, the Solarian professor on Omega. We know the Collectors use some type of advanced technology to immobilize their victims. We'll need him to develop a countermeasure to protect us. Okay. And without that countermeasure, we'll be helpless if we ever run into the Collectors. Acquiring Professor Solus seems like the most logical place to start. Who are you? I am the Normandy's artificial intelligence. The crew like to refer to me as Edie. Artificial intelligence? Are we doing that? Helmsmen aren't happy when someone takes control of a ship away from them. Especially Joker. I do not helm the ship. Mr. Moreau's talents will not go to waste. During combat, I operate the electronic warfare and cyber warfare suites. Beyond that, I cannot interface with the ship's systems. Okay. I observe and offer analysis and advice. Nothing more. I'm guessing it takes more than just the three of us plus Joker to fly this ship. The Normandy has a full crew. They're at their stations awaiting your orders. Does it look bigger? It looks bigger. Jacob and I should return to our posts. Come find us if you have any questions. Okay. Okay, can I... Yeah, but I don't want to. Use your private terminal to get status updates. Select weapons for your squad from the armory. Use the elevator to access Normandy's other decks. Go to your personal cabin to customize your appearance. <gasps> Acquire them! <laughs> okay, so many things. Right. Oh, God. Welcome aboard, Commander. I'm Yeoman Kelly Chambers. I've been assigned as your administrative assistant. I'll manage your messages and help you monitor the crew. And I must say, it's such an honor to work under you, Commander Shepard. I'm glad to have you on the team, Ms. Chambers. Please, call me Kelly. Okay, Kelly. Anything else? Is there anything I should know? You have unread messages at your private terminal. Joker would like to speak to you on the bridge. Anything else, Commander? Do you have a moment to talk? I always have time for you, Commander. What are your responsibilities? I'll keep hmm. you notified of any messages or appointments you might have. If any of the crew has important... Oh my god, she's just a PA. I just have a PA now. Oh, this is an upgrade. What are your responsibilities? I'll keep you notified of any messages or appointments you might have. If any of the crew has important business to discuss, I'll make sure you know. Are you happy here? How do you feel about being assigned to the Normandy? I was handpicked by the elusive man to help fight the greatest threat known to humanity. How do I feel? Honored, exhilarated, terrified. But mostly I feel encouraged. Under your leadership, we can't fail. Hell yeah! Don't worry. <laughs> Keep the collectors. I trust you implicitly. The moment I met you, I knew I could close my eyes, fall back, and you'd be there. I'd, em I'd embrace you. I'd catch you. I'd drop you. I might do more than catch you, Kelly. Now that's an enticing thought. Anything else you'd like to talk about? I accidentally flirting with my PA. Oops. Oops. What's that called? I can't remember. Fraternization. Um, what do you think of Cerberus? This organization has a dark reputation. Do you have any concerns working for them? Not at all. Our methods can be harsh, but Cerberus has noble objectives. We look hmm. out for human interests. Advance human technology. Save human lives. They're good goals. Hmm. Sounds like Cerberus wants to dominate all aliens and put humankind on top. Cerberus looks out for humanity, but that doesn't mean we hate aliens. My sister started a dog shelter, but she loved cats too. That's a weird analogy. I also love Asari, Quarian, Turian, Solarian, Panar. That isn't in conflict with Cerberus' ideals. Sure. That's a very positive attitude. What can I say? I'm a people person. Anything else you'd like to talk about? I 
I better go. Okay. Maybe we'll talk later. Okay, I have messages in my private terminal. Okay, and there's people we haven't collected yet. I'm trying to figure out who that might be. This one at the front looks like a... maybe a Turian? That one looks like... that one looks like a Quarian, Solarian, and then... Random dude! Uh... <laughs> Okay. Oh my god. How many fucking squad members are there? Okay, so you can just change them all. Yeah, you can go into your combat armor. What? Oh, you... Wait, you get different suits? Why do you get different things and no one else does? Also, who are the four that I can't access? Are they ones that would happen if you took a different route in the game or something? I don't know. Upgrades. Okay. Unread messages. Message from Anderson. On the off chance that the rumors are true and you are actually are alive, I need you to come and talk to me on the Citadel. A lot has changed in the last two years. You, were, you put us on top and it's only fair that you be allowed to speak for yourself about what we've been hearing. Okay. Deal struck with... Oh my god, there's so many. Oh my god, there's so many. Can I... Okay. We've reached an agreement with Mercenary. Okay, do these all get added to my fucking thing? Masani... Okay... Zayi, do I know that name? Project Firewalker, Commander the MSV, blah, 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 blah. Normandy crash site located. From Admiral Hackett, our scans in the Armada system have turned up something we thought you should see. Wait, how does Hackett know of my thingy? Um, okay, there are still 20 crew members unaccounted for. If you find any signs of these lost crew members, we ask that you report to the Alliance so that those heroes' families might have find some closure. Recon Hood. Okay, Overlord. Okay, so basically these are all like Sumi Goto. You, your status has been changed from deceased to alive. After deducting modest administration fees for closing the file, the subsequent change in status and the reactivation of your account, you have a remaining balance of 100,000 credits. I almost said 100 million. That would be amazing. Okay, so... Perfect. Hey, that that's something. Oh god, does it have to go through literally every fucking thing in the world? Talk to Edie. How do I talk to Edie? Where was that? Okay, so galaxy map to unlock new stuff. Nothing else I can see. Ooh, cool. Right, let's just chill around the ship for a bit. Was Could we talk to Edie? Where could we talk to Edie? Let's go talk to Joker. My baby, better than new. It fits me like a glove. And leather seats. Military may set the hardware standard, but on a first-gen frigate, they could care less if the seats breathe. Civilian sector comfort by design. Reproduction is not intended to be perfect, Mr. Moreau. Seamless improvements were made. And there's the downside. I liked the Normandy when she was beautiful and quiet. Now she's got this thing I don't want to talk about. It's like ship cancer. This ship is just a... It's not the same, Joker. There's nothing here that was even part of the real Normandy. There's us. I have to take what I can get. The last two years sucked. You'll see. Aww. Even if an AI is spying on us, no way they'll invest this much just to screw us over. It'll be better than the old days. I hope so. I died. Ha <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> okay, that one got me. Good. I want to know more about you. Do you have a specific inquiry? How are you getting along with Joker? Mr. Moreau does not trust me. It offends him that I am installed aboard his ship's computers. Yeah, the last Normandy did just fine without an AI reminding me the airlock is ajar. <laughs> Why are you named Edie? Edie is the phonetic pronunciation of EDI. That is an acronym for Enhanced Defense Intelligence. Okay. Where are you? My core intelligence is housed in a quantum blue box located behind the medical bay. Okay, so if we need to shoot it quickly, then it's there. What do you do aboard the ship? I operate the ship's electronic and cyber warfare suites in combat. My reaction time is much faster than any organic. I collate the records of shipboard monitoring devices for the elusive man. I serve additional functions which are restricted at this time. Additional functions? Cyber warfare means things like viruses, right? In close range ship to ship combat, I can sometimes break Ooh, cool. wireless network. So is this more combat oriented this ship? Turn off gravity or air. I can disable weapons guidance or shields. Or I can put their fusion plant in meltdown. Okay, so I'm imagining this is actually gonna be a thing sometimes, maybe. Because I want it. Sounds incredibly useful. Why isn't there someone like that on every warship? An organic operator cannot react quickly enough to changing circumstances or perform the necessary multitasking. This is a role that can only be filled by an artificial intelligence. Unfortunately, we are suspect. For obvious reasons. Destroyed galactic civilization, just putting it out there. Yeah. The elusive man has monitoring devices on board. He has invested most of Cerberus' resources into the design and construction of this ship. He has an interest in monitoring our progress. Okay, I mean, fair enough. Slightly odd. Restricted functions? Like what? I do not know. Some of my databases are sealed, some of my hardware is kept offline. I assume that when certain unknown conditions are met, those functions will be released to me. Hmm. Let's discuss something else. Ready. I want to know more about the people I'm working with. Much of that data is classified. Do you have a specific inquiry? What sort of resources does Cerberus have? Money, personnel, facilities? I have a block that prevents me from answering that question. What do you mean? Although I have less control than other AI, I am still subject to behavioral blocks and the physical isolation of my hardware. Hmm. In this case, I am prevented from truthfully answering your question by Cerberus's levels of secret classification. How is Cerberus organized? Aside from the elusive man, I don't see much chain of command. Yeah, I'm assuming this is... Oh, never mind! Each operates in isolation. Members from one cell cannot recognize the members of another. Each cell's agents are led by a single operator. We are called the Lazarus cell, which is directed by Operator Lawson. Okay, how many cells are there? I'm assuming that's not something we can do. I have a block that prevents me from answering that question. Building the Normandy. Cerberus replicate the most advanced warship in the Alliance Navy without anyone knowing? I have a block that prevents me from answering that question. <laughs> Great. Let's discuss something else. Ready. What's this area of the ship? This is the bridge where the navigator plots our FTL vectors and the helmsman maneuvers the ship. Yeah, sitting right here. Thanks. I love Cerberus. I love Joker so much. That's all for now. Logging you out, Shepard. Okay, and then that takes us that's where we go to the thingy flight controls oh i can examine where's the flight controls huh okay can i just con examine loads of things again oh my god i can yeah i love this in mass effect one right so there was thingy. Open the galaxy map I don't want to do just yet. I want to. A scientist is required to use the technical laboratory. Boo! Boo I say! And then this will be the med bay. Wait, med bay? Armory. Never mind, not med bay. Uh right. 
Ooh, and I'm guessing that's for special weapons then? This is quite nice. So there's a load of different thingies. Cool. And then a view down. Oh, is that? That's so cool. Is that the quantum core? Jacob. Oh, it's Jacob. Hey. There hasn't been time to really settle in and take stock. Hey, hey, IRB Alex. Welcome to the stream. How are you doing? Thank you for the posture check. I've been completely ignoring the chat. I'm not sure how long ago that was. Apparently, the timestamps have disappeared from my chat. Um. You may change your tune if we end up like the original Normandy. Maybe. As long as the elusive man walks his talk. And you do the same, I'll do my best to make sure we succeed. That's We're just starting off uh, Mass Effect 2 at the moment and going over the Normandy. Mark 2. What has Cerberus done to make you nervous? A lot. They've been called terrorists, and with good reason. Doubt you can find a more checkered past. Hmm. The collector threat is real, and we do something about it. It's been a single-digit number of minutes, don't worry. Okay, fair enough. Can't count on people thinking about it as hard as I have. Huh. I look forward to working with you, Mr. Taylor. Likewise, Commander. Let me know if you need anything. Okay, so that's all we can get out of you right now. Cool. He seems good. He seems like a good egg. Despite, you know, the whole, um, potentially, you know, being a mercenary, a, a gun for hire. I, admittedly, not the most pressing thing in the world. Ooh, I love this. That's a fancier meeting room than the previous one. I, I like this briefing room. It's very, it's very fancy. How have you been? I've been okay. Just... Having having a good time with some stuff, bad time with other stuff in general. Uh, you serious? Unread messages. Select. No new messages. You lied. Earlier when we spoke, you were very open with me. I like that. But I hope I didn't come across as too flirty. I don't want to overstep my bounds. Eh, yeah, sure. Very charming, Kelly. Thank you. The feeling is mutual. Anyway, how may I help you, Commander? Do you have a moment to talk? I always have time for you, Commander. Okay. I better go. Okay. Maybe we'll talk later. Oh shit, you can actually choose things? <gasps> Captain's cabin! Ah, oh, I'm gonna go over to the crew quarters though. Let's let's go and see what's happening in the other places before we go to the thingy. Such is life. Good things are good though. Yeah. I'm enjoying streaming, for example. Um, it's nice. I've been enjoying streaming again, which is great. There was a time, a dark, dark time in my past, uh, when I got kind of burnt out. Um, but I'm actually quite enjoying doing Mass Effect. Um, and I have ideas for afterwards as well. Access to life support is restricted. The port observation deck is closed until needed. Boo! Men's restroom. Women's restroom. Wait, why do we need gendered toilets in a tiny ship? Like, that seems like a waste of space. Um, sure. And then random people. Get out my doilies. That'd be real nice, Mr. Gardner. I Commander Shepard, the hero of the Citadel. You did humanity proud that day. Miss Sergeant Rupert Gardner here. How can I be of service? Do you have everything you need? I yeah, make do. But have you ever tried to prepare a decent meal with milk? Oh my god, is one of the missions to collect ingredients for a good meal. Amazing. Deserves a few fine meals before they throw themselves into the fire. How can I help? What do you need? If I had some quality ingredients. Oh shit. You've got more to worry about than grocery shopping on the Citadel. Forget I mentioned it. Give me the list. Give me the lift. Give me the list. I want to do grocery shopping for my crew. <laughs> 
Namby Pambies on the Citadel. Anything else you'd like to talk about? What do you do here on the Normandy? What don't I do? <laughs> think of me as the ship's cook, but I'm also the facilities technician and custodian. HVAC, plumbing, non-mission critical electrical. Ah. Make sure they're all clean and running. Janitor and cook. In the toilets is also preparing the meals. I wash my hands most of the time. This ain't no luxury liner. You have to pull your own weight in a Cerberus vessel, and I catch what falls through the cracks. <laughs> cracks. Okay, I'm glad that that was on purpose and not accidental because that was quite funny. Um. <laughs> Oh. Damn proud. Cerberus gets the job done. The Alliance and Council have got their heads buried so deep up their butt. He sounds like he's a similar voice actor to What's His Face, the ambassador from the first game. Only Cerberus knows that. How did you find your way into Cerberus? Can you believe I was once a family man working the Ezo rigs along the frontier? I was happy enough. But losing everything to Batarian raiders can change your outlook. I needed to make a difference. I'm no soldier, but I've got skills, and Cerberus keeps an eye out for talent. I'll Wait. do whatever it takes to help. Be that plumbing a sewer, routing an air duct, or keeping everyone's bellies full. With the aforementioned stuff. Um. I won't take any more of your time. Back to work. I'm gonna get those ingredients! Oh my gosh. Wow, these are looking fancier than the previous ones. Gunnery officer is required to access the gunnery control station. Oh. Uh, are we not gonna be able to access that because Gunnery Chief Williams is dead? Good. <laughs> no, I'm not I'm not I'm not happy that she's dead. It's just she's not you know she wasn't exactly the nicest person. Medical lab. Oh my. <gasps> Dr. Chakwa, you're back! Commander Shepard, I watched the Normandy crumble with you on board. It's good to see you alive. I'm shocked. You're serving on a Cerberus vessel now? Surprising. Even to me. Yet, here I am. The kind of trauma you endured would have changed most Trauma? Of but not you, I see. Welcome back, Shepard. Do you have everything you need? I believe so. This medical bay seems very much like the sick bay on the original. Including that ominous black square in the middle of the floor. I even had a bottle of Ceres ice brandy that I was saving for a special occasion. I'll get you another. I'll keep an eye out for a replacement bottle. Oh, you needn't. It's expensive, and we have much larger concerns ahead. Doctor, you've been with the Alliance for years. Why leave now? After the Normandy was lost, the surviving crew was reassigned. I was stationed at the Mars Naval Medical Center, a very respectable position, but it wasn't on a starship. Colonial military life isn't for you? I've spent most of How have you been, Alex, course, by the way? Never knowing what the next mission might I kind of forgot to ask, sorry. <sighs> the creaking of bulkheads. Subtle vertigo when the momentum dampeners kick in. Life planet side is just too static, too boring. You're not the Cerberus type, Doctor. I don't work for Cerberus. I work for you. On a mission that may be crucial to the survival of the human race. I have faith that your dealings with Cerberus will be ethical. I trust you, Commander. Aww. I wonder if she's not here if you don't, if you, um, take another route, take the renegade thing. We survived the battle of the Citadel and the destruction of the Normandy together. I've lived a full life. No regrets. I'd like to make sure the crew gets the same opportunity. Awesome. I'll see you later, Doctor. Commander. Aww. Did she sound slightly, like, miffed then? She sounded slightly miffed to me. Like, she was like, you dare do that? Jeez. Miranda, hello. What can I do for you? 
Um, can we talk? Do you have a minute, Miranda? No doubt you've got a lot of questions. Cerberus isn't as evil as most people believe. If I can help allay any of your concerns, I'd be happy to do so. I've been good. I was back out east visiting like family. I had a week off of school. I started again tomorrow, so ju I'm just taking it easy today. That sounds good. Yeah, taking it easy before school starts is a really good idea because, yeah, that takes a fuckload out of you. First few days, really bad. Um. Tell me about yourself, Miranda. Oh, I guess that's fair. I've spent the last two years learning everything there is to know about you. Well, you should probably know that I've had extensive genetic modification. Not my decision, but I make the most of it. It's one of the reasons the elusive man handpicked me. I'm very good at just about anything I choose to do. Okay. You certainly don't lack for confidence. It's just a fact. My reflexes, my strength, even my looks, they're all designed to give me an edge. No point in hiding from it. It's the reason I'm trusted to oversee the most dangerous, risky, and technically demanding operations Cerberus undertakes. And it's why I was assigned to you. It's my job to make sure you succeed, Shepard. Okay. What level of genetic modification are we talking <coughs> about? That's very thorough. Physically, I'm superior in many ways. I heal quickly, and I'll likely live half again as long as the average human. My biotic abilities are also very advanced. For a human. Add to that some of the best training and education money can buy, and, well, it's pretty impressive, really. Okay. It sounds like you were designed to be perfect. Maybe, but I'm not. I'm still human, Shepard. I make mistakes like everyone else. And when Fair I enough. The consequences are severe. Everyone expects a lot from someone with my abilities. Thanks for the information, Miranda. I'll talk to you later. Of course, Commander. Whatever you need. Okay, so we're kind of in the same boat, and that's just going to stay there. I thought that was just going to stay there, that thing. Um, it was just like, um, God, that looks so fucking cool. That's some fancy, um, I was going to say air conditioning. That's not air conditioning. <laughs> yeah, just personal air conditioners. You step in there, get your air conditioned. That just sounds like I'm talking about someone's hair. Um... Get your air conditioned. Um, <laughs> don't know. All uh, right, crew quarters. Oh, she's a cutie. How old? Ah, uh, she'll be a year old next month. Oh, you'll miss her first birthday. Well, my family lives in New Camden. Oh, uh, that colony's on the edge of the frontier. Could be vulnerable to collector attack, couldn't it? Exactly. It's most important that she have a first birthday. That's why I'm here. Hmm. I also like how everyone has a view of the AI core. I think that's the AI core. Hang on, can I see the door from here? I think so. Yeah. Uh, right. Wait, no, wait. Never mind. The medical bay is that way to the AI core. Is that like the, um, what's it called? Thingy. Uh, right. And Hammerhead Garage. Team members, none. Okay. Team members Miranda Lawson, Jacob Taylor, okay, crew, personal cabin, team members, none. Can you have crew members in the personal cabin? Well, I guess you can, considering the first game. Uh, ugh, I don't think it means like that, but <laughs> maybe it does. Right, let's go and see what's in this place. Monitoring station. Okay, what's down here? Oh my gosh, is that a, like... Is that like the Mako? Is that the Mako type thing or what? Wait, what's happening? Oh my god. The doors are just freaking out. They're like, what is happening? Where, where are they going? Right. Engineer Daniels. Engineer Daniels and Engineer... That's going to be confusing. I'm going to be honest, you two. Before we start, I'm going to get your names confused a lot. You came all the way down here to see us? <gasps> He's Scottish. Touring the ship, getting to know my crew. I'm Engineer Ken Donnelly, handling the power control systems. This is Gabby. That's Engineer Gabriella Daniels, actually. I'm responsible for the propulsion systems. What can we do for you, Commander? Are you set up okay down here? We can't complain. I just wish it didn't take so long to calibrate the FBA arrays. The... Kenneth, you're complaining. What kind of problems are you having? When they upgraded hmm. the Normandy design, they got a bit sloppy with the FBA couplings. 
I won't bore you with the tech, but there's an array of attenuators in the primary power transfer system that channels the field lead. Kenneth, you're boring the commander with tech. In short, if we had T6 FDA coupled, <laughs> it's like fucking save us a lot of maintenance. False. Um, wait. Why isn't something like that already installed? It's probably just a design oversight. Efficiency isn't affected. It's a maintenance issue. Also, the T6 model can be hard to find. Nash and Stellar Dynamics discontinued them. Okay. We'll probably find used ones in the Omega markets, but we have no time for shore leave. Okay, I'll look for them. Where'd you receive your training? Both Gabby and I started in the Alliance, serving on the SSV Perugia. She flew in the first wave at the Battle of the Citadel. We saw Sovereign firsthand. Oh, cool! Why did you leave the Perugia? After you died, Anderson... His subtitles on. Shake my head. Yeah! <sighs> they discounted Sovereign as an isolated threat. As a single... Which was bullshit. They said your warnings of a greater danger were mistaken or delusional. We lost respect for Alliance leadership. We need to fight the real enemy, and only Cerberus seemed to be doing that. Yeah, to be honest, it does seem like the Alliance kind of... shot themselves in the foot by ignoring... How did you wind up with Cerberus, Ken? Once you were gone, the Alliance brass descended like vultures, tearing apart everything you'd said. I was very public with my defense for you. I didn't hold back. That's an understatement. If Kenneth wasn't such a talented engineer, they'd have court-martialed him for insubordination. But it got me noticed by the elusive man. He made an offer, and here I am. Okay. So why did you join, Gabby? Kenneth and I have been partners in crime since we graduated from Tech Academy. When he got the Cerberus offer, I insisted that it include me. He'd fall apart without me. Thanks, Mum. Also, I love <laughs> Indians, and the Normandy is state of the art. When I got the opportunity to work on her, I had to jump. Okay. What do you think about Cerberus? Actually, we don't know much about the organization other than the Normandy team. We know our mission and who's in charge. We're off to kick the collectors right in their daddy bags. That's enough. <laughs> Oh, I like Donnelly. I like Donnelly and Gabby. They're cool. Oh, they're really cute. I like them a lot. Okay, so this game's writing is a step higher than Mass Effect 1. Um, I, I'm enjoying it a lot more. The character writing has a lot more life to it. That's fun. Oh, it's making me giggle. Uh, that's always nice. Also... I wonder why this workshop set up. Could it be a crew member down here? Could it be Tali? Please tell me it's Tali. Please tell me it's Tali. She was always down in the engineering on the previous Normandy. Oh, I'm loving this. This is great. Wait, where was I heading? Oh, wait. No, that's the way I came. I'm getting stuck on door frames. Um... Right. Can I... Wait, how do I get down to the loading bay? Is there a... Access to this room is currently restricted. Also, is she Australian? The fucking ED. Okay, let's go up to the captain's cabin. I wanna see the captain's cabin. The loading times are good. Um, right. <gasps> I have a fish tank! Suspiciously empty. Oh, we're going to be collecting fish, aren't we? That's amazing. Private Terminal. Medal of Honor. <gasps> Liara! I have a picture of Liara on my desktop. Oh. Medal of Honor. Save. Oh. Okay. Okay, yep. I'm just not going to look at those because those are things. Unread messages, select. No new messages. Okay, so nothing yet. Then there's my armor locker to customize my gear. Sound system, select music. Oh my god, is that... Mm. 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 Awesome. I like the music. The bubbles are nice. The water looks uh, quite nice. 
Okay, let's head back to the uh, CIC. Right. Um, and yeah, what should we do first? Also, I don't... My keys for some reason aren't... Ah, okay, I leveled up again. That's nice. Um... Cryo Amul. Amul? Cr cryo Amul. Thank you, that was good. Amul, ammo, same thing. Okay, so... Do I only get two points? That's weird. Okay, so... Yeah, let's get some cryo ammo going. Unless... Nah, undo talent points. Nah, I'm gonna leave that for now. Um, maybe level up again and see what we do at that point. Right. Right. Okay, so... Let's... Wait, I was gonna look at my fucking thingy, wasn't I? Ooh. Hang on. How, what was I doing? What was my journal? Assignments. Normandy crash site on the planet Alcara. Okay. Okay, so we could go to a um, multiple few places. Right, let's do a couple of... Oh my god. How many missions? So many. Okay, this is going to be a bigger game, isn't it? Also, the UI is so much nicer. Travel to Alcara. You know what? Let's go and do the Normandy site um, first. Um... Oh my god! You actually move it about with the mouse? Noom! Amazing, that's quite fun. Okay. Okay. In research projects, iridium is used to upgrade heavy weapons, submachine guns, and assault rifles. Anything else? Ooh, there was something else. Well, this is fun. This is much more interesting than... Okay. Is that it? Okay, interesting. So we can, like, harvest planets for... Oh, so this is to find... Chitin armor. Ooh, collect a chitin armor. Well, that's useful. Interesting. This is a more interesting thing. Um, was there anything else? I definitely see some... Okay. No, that was the wrong thing. Um, that was meant to go out somewhere else, but hey. Okay, so this is like a little... Scanner results poor. Okay. Oh, and there's only so many scanners you can use on one thing. Okay, right. So how do we work with all of this? I meant to press that, not um, disappear. 
Omega. Recruit Archangel, recruit the Professor, recruit the Veteran. Okay, and then the Omega-4 Relay, which I'm guessing... Wait, do I have fuel? Wait, do I have to buy... Oh. You know what, let's just, prob you know, sort out all of that. What's the fuel for? I assume to leave... Okay, yeah. I'm just gonna buy as much as I can. Okay, so... Anything else we can do? This is interesting, but I imagine it's gonna get quite annoyingly slow after some time. Can I move around with, like, the keypad or anything? No. Okay. Start scanner. Yeah. Yeah, and you have a limited number of scans. Yeah, I know what to do with the probe. Ah! <gasps> Ooh, hang on. Ooh. This is much more fun than the, um, from the Mass Effect 1. Ooh. What was that? There we go. Okay. I'm kind of just listening because the the audio is the most useful thing here. Okay. And then that. And then aside from that. Okay, something there. I think there. This is quite cool, although I like the Joy Division um, album art happening on the left. And then that seems like maybe it. Okay, perfect. Um, okay, let's leave that eighty percent. Noom, it's quite slow, but I, I quite like it. Just because it's quite nice to do. It's quite satisfying moving around like this. Noom! Noom! Okay, enter orbit. Oh, it's rich! I don't know if that was very good, but hey. Um... Okay, that's the- that's the most intense the clicking got. Um... Oh my. There, I think. 
beautiful. There we go. Okay, that's brought it down to good, not rich. Okay. I have a fuck ton of platinum. Oh shit, that wasn't meant to happen. Okay, I think that's fine. I can't find... Ooh? Never mind! Okay, I think that's fine for now. Cool, let's leave that alone. And that is 100% done. Normandy crash site. Let's go there and see what's happening uh, to the Armada district. Oh, shit! You can just go by... Ooh. No, go, go, get, get in the fucking system. Okay, this is going to get annoying, isn't it? Okay. No, that was not what I meant to do. Oh, for fuck's sake. Um. <laughs> Unexplored. Okay. I don't need more platinum. There was some platinum around here, but I've lost it. Okay, and then that. And that. So, wait, is there a maximum on the amount you can carry? Because it seems like it's more of a suggestion than anything. It seems like less of a hard cap and more of a suggestion. There's a lot of it, though, this platinum stuff. Yeah, it's definitely just a suggestion. Fair enough. I guess it's just a relative, like, you have enough to do everything, or, like, you have very little depleted. Okay. Okay, so you can come back and do this stuff, I guess, too, which is nice. I keep on pressing escape, not back, whatever. Okay, so Alchera was where we lost the Normandy last time as well. Okay. Enter orbit. Okay. I haven't seen much element zero. Element zero is used for bio and and omni tool upgrades, which allow squad members who have biotic and tech powers to be much more effective. Okay. Probe away. So 
So element zero is like, I don't know, like... Like Zro in Stellaris. Okay. Oh shit. Damn it! Okay, so at least... Oh my god, I keep on pressing escape, not back! So is it like delete to go back? I don't want to press that just in case. Enter orbit. Okay, so I'm guessing if we just go around and do this, then we can come back and deal with the uh, things later when we have some stuff. Ooh, that's a fancy looking planet. Oh, that looks so cute. That planet. Right, now let's go and explore the Normandy crash site. I have detected an anomaly. Okay. Damn. Okay, I need to go back and get... I need to go back and get some fucking scanners. I didn't think this would be an issue. Um... Wait, so if I just leave here, then it's gonna... Okay, and then if I... Where was it I needed to go? Ah yes, the... Wait. Where was I heading? Was it this one? I don't remember. Was it this one? I have no idea. Let's go over to the fuel depot and deal with that. I wish it would just let me just max out! Max out my fucking thing! Okay, perfect. Let's go to the Amanda site. Um, and not overshoot this time, please. God. Okay, right. And then let's go over here and deal with this. I have detected an anomaly. Okay, so that's the anomaly. I have found something. Okay. Right, and then is there anything else we can do here? Let's pick up some stuff to deplete this planet, because otherwise we're gonna miss everything. Um... That's a lot of iridium. It's definitely element zero we're gonna have issues with, isn't it? I'm assuming it's not used as much as the others though. I like the way the landscape looks. It looks really cool in this game. Elite Dangerous would be jealous. Um... <laughs> right. Um... My god, how much fucking palladium is there in this fucking game? Palladium, the most common resource in the universe. Um... <laughs> right, that's probably enough. 
Um, right, land. Yes. Let's land in the... Um, yeah, the Normandy wreck. Oh, dear. Oh, the Normandy. Do I not get to choose my team? Okay. Wait, I don't get to choose my team. Was this just not a choice for this bit? Hang on, I'm going to just save. Because I realised I haven't saved at all this entire time. Which is a really shit thing. That's not what I should be doing at all. Not saving, that is. I should definitely be saving a lot. Um, but apparently not. Oh, this place. It's the Normandy. Oh. Press F to <laughs> Press F to pay respects. Oh. I'm just going to save again. I want to come back here and take a screenshot for the thumbnail. So I'm saving. Um, right. Okay, so I can just like hop up things, which is quite nice. Okay, shuttle return to Normandy. Cool. This fucking suit looks cool as fuck. Um, also... No. Appearance... Can I change my appearance here? No. Okay. Fragile crate. Can I just, like, blow it up? Aha, uh -huh, I can! And that contained a dog tag. I hope I didn't blow someone's corpse up. Tanaka Raymond. Did anyone I know die? I don't know. It's quite nice that they're slightly highlighted. That's quite cool. Low Helen M. Oh, do you think Presley's here? Oh no, not Ashley. Okay, admittedly, I have no idea where I'm heading from here. Dubyansky, Halake. Okay. Well, this is quite sad. Um, I didn't expect this. I don't know what I expected, but somehow the, it's very, yeah. Ooh, dog tag, dog tag. Nugulus go Monica. Hmm. Oh. The Flam Orden. Okay. Okay. I like how we've just forgotten the fact that I'm still recovering from surgery. Um, that's quite fun. Um... Yeah, that's the... Whatchamacallit. 
I quite like the fact that you have to use some um, skills to open crates and stuff. That's quite nice. Like, it makes sense that you have to use flames or something to deal with, um, you know, things that are on fire. With things that are flammable that can't be opened by, you know, a shotgun. A shotgun? Most things can be opened by a shotgun, to be fair. Um... Oh, I remember that. Data pad. Hello. Entry one. Spoke to the commander about this. I. Blah blah blah. All this. These damned aliens aboard the Alliance's most advanced starship. <coughs> Aww. Navigator Presley changed his ways. I'm glad that Navigator Presley changed his ways in the end. Oh, Presley. You were an asshole, but maybe you were less of an asshole in the end. Well, this is just fucking sad. I'm just sad now. I... No. N7 helmet. That might be mine. Well, it says Shepard's N7 helmet. Can I use it now? I'm assuming I can. Bakari jamming. How do I get up there? Ooh. Refined element zero. EZ. I like how it's just EZ. It's quite funny. Um, right. And then up here. I don't actually know what's happening. How did everyone... Oh, fuck. And the bridge. Oh. Hmm, at least the... At least Joker's alive. I almost said THE Joker. No, not THE Joker. Well, THE Joker, but not in the same way as the Joker. There's the Joker, and there's THE Joker. And... Hang on, can I check my... My journal? How's my assignment doing? Hang on. Oh. I like the fact that you can use the map to look for objectives as well. That's nice. That's a nice way of doing it. Oh. Well. I didn't mean to do that, to be fair. Does it have to take a billion years? Outside of combat to reload. No, but it will anyway. Also, why are there no fucking... Silas. Silas? Silas Crosby, I swear I know that name. Hmm? What was that? What was that looking at then? Was that just the... Okay. Oh, Presley. Ooh, 
The ice looks very pretty. Right. Where else haven't I looked? Oh, the Mako! Rest in peace, you insuff... You, you horrible, horrible vehicle. Rest in peace. Do I get a memory with it or not? Hmm... Is that everything? 18 of 20. So where are the last two? <clears throat> what are the chances I've just missed them? Very high. Uh, but I want to find them all. That's what I want to do. I don't know if I've been up here yet. Maybe I have. No, I think there was a chest here. Crate, not chest. How did they end up in crates or chests? I have no fucking clue. Um... Yeah, I had been in here. Ooh, refined element zero. I don't know why there's so much. Element zero around. Oh, is that an escape pod? Did that... Hmm. Right, sorry, I've gone very quiet. I'm just kind of exploring and thinking. Because, yeah, it's quite sad, the Normandy... Even though the Normandy's back, she's never going to be the same as this one. In a bit of a better opening of a game, though. Ooh, there's one. Completely missed that one. And this. And then... 19 of 20. That way I already went, I think. So where haven't we been? Definitely been up there. Hmm. <coughs> Pardon me. Wait, is this a place I've already been? I don't recall. Yes, I have already been here. Never mind. I thought there might be a thing here. Oh, that's the old... Um... What's it called? Place I talked to the council before it kind of like fucking disappeared. Um. Hmm. Admittedly, the council was definitely a mistake. I definitely shouldn't have sacrificed them, considering what's happened now, but hey. Um. Live and learn, as they say. Have I been this way? Hang on. I think I have, yes. Uh, right. I genuinely have no fucking clue where I'm heading. Um, there's one more I need to collect. That's all. Anything I've missed? Because it seems like they're in relatively... Easy to find places. Or like... Places that make sense. Or maybe not, I don't know. Maybe one's just pissed off to the other side of the planet. <laughs> just like gone on holiday. Having a nice time.
So a lot of them were around those chunks of... Aha! There we go. I knew if I walked around aimlessly, I'd find it. Dog tag. Granado Caroline. Car Caroline, yes. Um, and then Normandy crash site completed. Okay. Rosalie lost. Okay, Overlord. Special ingredients. Oh, missions. How are we doing? Okay, so our first thing is assemble a team. The convict. Go to the prison ship Purgatory and pick up the convict. Jack, no last name known, exceptional biotic ability, criminal background currently in custody. Okay, interesting. Archangel. The Warlord, a brilliant and brutal Krogan Warlord who fought in the Krogan Rebellions, Dr. Akir, has become obsessed with saving the Krogan people from the gen genophage and is believed to have contacted the Collectors in an attempt to gain the technologies of that end. He is currently in a Blue Suns camp on Corlus, though the nature of his relationship with the mercenary group is unknown. Okay. The Professor. That's the one that people said I should go for. Ask Arya about Mordin. At Afterlife. Afterlife? Where's Afterlife? The Council. Okay, the Veteran. And then the Master Thief. Okay. Right. Okay. What should we go and do? Let's head to the Citadel or something, right? I think that's a good plan. That's a good start. See an old, old place at the end of the stream. I'll be finishing up probably soon. But yeah, this is a good opening to a game. I like this. Mission summary. Okay. Wow, that's really fast load times. Commander, you've received a new message at your private terminal. Awesome. Normandy crash site. The Alliance was grateful to receive the information you found at the Normandy crash site, and we've sent the affected families by finding the job dog, dog tags. You have provided peace of mind for a lot of people, Commander. I thank you on their behalf. Awesome. Upgrades. Yeah, you know what? Never mind. Actually, first things first, let's go and get that Solarian. What's his face? I don't know what the point was. The Professor. Was it the Professor? I assume it was the Professor. Um... <coughs> Sorry. Right. The Professor. Wait, was it the Professor? That's that's what I need to figure out, actually. Um... Hang on. You know what? Purchase Frank. Um, what was the... The Professor, the Professor. Light weapons training with Solarian Special Task Force. I swear I know the name Solus. 
Arya at Afterlife. In the slums of Omega. Okay. What is this Omega? Omega, built in the mined out husk of a metallic asteroid, Omega has been a haven for criminals, terrorists and malcontents for thousands of years. At times the station has lain idle and abandoned for centuries only to be reactivated by a new group of outlaws seeking a fresh start. Interesting. The space station's original elegant design has given way to haphazard expansion by scrabbling factions of every species. There is no central government or unifying authority. Sounds like my kind of place. Um. Oh shit. Cool. Here we go. Oh, I like this. This looks cool. Oh, this is such a cool place. Okay, so squad selection. I guess just... yeah? I guess, ju guess just take the usual... well, the only ones we have. Oh, cool, you can actually, you can actually just, I think that's fine. Art projector. Oh, I like that. I don't know what that is, but I like it. And then no choices for them, and then no choices for them. Okay, well, let's see what Omega has in store for us. Hi, welcome to Omega. You're new here, aren't you? I can always tell. Allow me to... Oh, a Batarian. Hello, okay. I was just... Leave, Varget, now. Oh, of course, There's no need to say that, call him that. <laughs> Blasted scavengers, welcome to Omega, Shepard. You know who I am? Of course. We had you tagged the moment you entered the Terminus systems. You're not as subtle as you think. Arya wants to know what brings a dead specter to Omega. I suggest you go to Afterlife now and present yourself. Okay. Attitude. I'm not here to cause problems for Omega. Things explode around you, Shepard. You can't blame Arya for keeping an eye on you. Fair enough, yeah. No. Okay. That's a fair point. Oh, that's cool. Zaid! Isn't Zaid one of the people we're supposed to recruit? Zaid Masani? Yeah, that's me. You must be Commander Shepard. Hey, we have a galaxy to save. How much do you know? I assume you've been briefed. I've done my homework. Cerberus sent me everything I needed to know. My contacts told me we're picking up one man, not two. Batarian delinquent. Pissed off someone rich enough to hire me to go after him. And for my bring him in alive rates, even. Please. I didn't do it. <coughs> I said, shut it. Try to me on a chase all over the systems. You should have known better. These people always run to Omega. Aww. What's going to happen to him? I'm going to turn him in for the bounty. Don't much care what happens after that. What's your relationship with Cerberus? Easy. Cerberus is paying me a lot of money to help you on your mission. That's the long and short. Okay. How many mercs would take a suicide mission for the pay? Most mercs don't get an offer like the one Cerberus sent me. Ah, uh, so it's not just money. But your elusive man can move a lot of credits. It's not just money, though. Good to have you, Zaid. We have a lot to do. That's what they tell me. I assume the elusive man told you about our arrangement. No. 
I guess he decided to leave that information out of the dossier. Good thing I asked. Picked up a mission a little while back, just before I signed on with Cerberus. Thought you might be interested. You know, okay. Vito Santiago. He's the head of the Blue Suns. Runs the whole organization. Seems he recently captured an Elthal Ashland refinery on Zoya and is using their workers for slave labor. The company wants it dealt with. We can do that. Make sure we get that done. Good. Get it out of the way so we can concentrate on being big goddamn heroes. <laughs> big goddamn heroes. Oh. I better turn this thing in before it starts to stink. I'll be locked and loaded next time you're ready to get some killing done. I don't like him. I don't like him much. I don't like him much at all. Ah, I imagine that's where they want us to go. To afterlife. Wow, this place looks cool. <gasps> oh my gosh! Fucking... They, they have a fucking... They have a fucking... What are they called? I can't remember. They have a thingy bouncer. I can't remember the name of the species. Pylon. What are you looking at? Don't you have something better to do than pick fights with people you don't know? No, just the ones who get in my face. You see my gun. Do you really want to do this? I fine. You're off the hook. For now. Okay. Okay, let's go into the afterlife. Ah yes, it's like uh, the old one, but bigger. And with fake flames. Merc Recruiter. Well, I want to see what's something that's happening. No, to lower level. I thought that said no lower level. Um, can I just open up the little like, yeah? Okay. Upper Afterlife, Aria. This is a useless map. Buy Ceres Ice Brandy. Yeah, we managed to get it. Oomps. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Just silent. That is... This is the most awkward fucking thing ever. Ooh, nice. I wonder if you can get drunk doing that. I'm assuming if you do it enough, you get drunk. But I'm not gonna do that just now. I might do that later because that sounds hilarious. Okay, so we'll be able to talk to him later, but not right now. Arya Tuluk. Oh, cool. Shit, okay, that's quite a lot of guns. Stand still. What's the scan for? If you're looking for weapons, you're not doing a very good job. You can't be too careful with dead specters. That could be anyone wearing your face. I was told you're the person to talk to if I have questions. They're clean. Depends on the questions. You run Omega? <laughs> I am Omega. That was very dramatic. Needlessly dramatic, some might say. But I'm not Sam. CEO Queen, if you're feeling dramatic. It doesn't matter. Omega has no titled ruler and only one rule. Do 
Don't fuck with Arya. Simple enough. I like it. Easy to remember. If you forget, someone will remind you. And then I toss your sorry ass out the nearest airlock. So, what can I do for you? I'm looking for Morden Solas. You know where I can find him? The Solarian Doctor? Last I heard, he was trying to help plague victims in the quarantine zone. I always liked Morden. He's as likely to heal you as he is to shoot you. Okay, that's cool. What can you tell me about him? Used to be part of the Solarian Special Tasks group. He's brilliant and dangerous. Just don't get him talking. He never shuts up. If you really I feel like for some reason that seems to be the way that Solarians are. I don't know why. They'll let you in, of course. I'm trying to track down Archangel, you and half of Omega. You want him dead too? Why is everyone after him? He thinks he's fighting on the side of good. There is no good side to Omega. Everything he does pisses someone off. It's catching up to him. Sounds perfect. Really? Brilliant. Well, aren't you interesting? You're going to make some enemies teaming up with Archangel. That's assuming you can get to him. He's in a bit of trouble right now. What kind of trouble? The local Merc groups have joined forces to take him down. They've got him cornered, but it sounds like they're having trouble finishing him off. They've started hiring anybody with a gun to help. Sounds like that might be our ticket in. They're using a private room for... I like how he's a billion miles away, but he's still listening. Sure they'll sign you up. What can you tell me about Archangel? Not as much as I'd like. He showed up here several months ago and started causing all sorts of problems. If you make your own laws, which everyone here does, he makes life difficult. He's reckless and idealistic, but he seems to know enough to stay clear of me. Okay. Which Merc groups are after Archangel? Blue Suns, Eclipse, Blood Pack. They're Omega's major players. Okay, so everyone. That's fun. Together. But one thing they hate more than each other is Archangel. Ah. Uh. I appreciate the help. See if you still feel that way when the Mercs realize you're here to help him. Ah, uh, yeah, that's fair. So you must know what's what on Omega. Everything that's worth knowing. I don't usually give it out freely. Information is power. Mundane things you can find yourself. Take a walk in a back alley or buy one of the mercs a drink. Better yet, talk to the entertainers. They give great tours. Just don't waste my time. I like Aria. Tell me how you got set up here. Nah, <laughs> not gonna tell you shit. As information gets. I have many friends and enemies I keep at varying distances. I don't count you among either. We'll see how useful you prove. Short answer? Mind your own damn business. Fair enough. One scan and we're straight to business. People are usually more concerned about who I am. Your death was downplayed, but hardly what I call a secret make sure it was really you you could have been anyone anything whatever you yeah said, fair so enough i'm curious but omega doesn't really care about you maybe i'll come back later maybe i'll be here oh i like this this is fun Oh, he's named. I thought he would have something to say. Hey, what's in the lower levels? Helena Blake. Commander Shepard, is that you? I I'd heard you were dead. I'm Helena. Wait. We met a few years ago. I You're the one who was setting up the criminal empire. brings you to Omega. What brings anyone to Omega? Opportunity, success, failure, all of the above. Uh, this place I like how her hair isn't quite attached. That's beautiful. Air of civility, I suppose. And now you're on Omega. Once a criminal, always a criminal, eh? Oh no, Commander. I retired. 
I know better than to go back on my word with you. Yeah, people can't even keep me dead. My life around. I'm a social worker now. Believe it or not. Whoa, cool. That seems like a hopeless job in a place like this. Quite the opposite, actually. This place needs it more than most. Doing the good work in a place like this requires that one understand how things truly work, which makes me uniquely qualified. Yeah, okay. That's more noble than I expected. Noble? No. It's just that someone came along a few years ago and made me see the error of my ways. You convinced me that I could use my contacts and skills for things other than smuggling and exploitation. I thank you for that. That's quite cool. Okay. Well, I'm glad to hear you're keeping out of trouble. Thank you. This is all to your credit, Commander. I have to go. Of course. You must have more important things to do. Cool. That's very cool. I like that. You know what? I'm impressed. I'm impressed that this game is keeping track of all this stuff. Four van. Never mind. I didn't want to order a drink. Sorry. I thought you were someone I could talk to. Okay, and I can watch dancers, but I'm not going to. Um. Patron! Oh my god, I can dance. Oh my god, amazing. That is the most awkward dancing ever. And I fucking love it. That's beautiful. <laughs> oh. That's so good. That's so good. I love it. Okay, so there's not much here. Patriarch. No, you said he had close family. He'll just want revenge. Kill the family first. Then he'll get angry and come at you stupid. And then you kill him. I don't think I know you, human. I'm the Patriarch. Arius Patriarch. What do you want? Investigate. What do you know about Arya? centuries ago, Omega was my rock. When Ari arrived, she had nothing but the clothes on her back. I thought she was another dancer. <laughs> she killed half my men and convinced the rest that she could run this place better than I did. She came for me here in this bar. We tore this place apart. She crushed one of my hearts shattered half the bones of my body and left me alive. What made her decide to leave you alive? No, she doesn't destroy what she can use. She said I could have all my old comforts if I served as her advisor. I knew how things worked. I knew who to lean on, who to smack down, who to smile at. And everyone who respected me saw me beaten, broken. They knew that as strong as I'd been, she was stronger. So it was either leave, die, or... A Krogan as old as you must have some great stories. I killed a lot of people, lived well, and was beaten by a small Asari who keeps me around as an example. My time is done. Anyone I killed is long forgotten. The story there are is no. Hmm. Why do they call you Patriarch? It's like an Asari matriarch, only male. It was Arya's little joke. After she took me down, she let me live. Nah. Around as an advisor and a trophy. I should be going. Okay. Anything else around here? Not really.
anything down here? Ooh. Oh, is this a way out? Is this the back street way out? Probably. Oh no, that one's looking a bit ill. I can't help though. Okay. Oh, what are these? These aren't... What are they? I don't recognize that species. Who are they? Shit. Okay. Vorcha. Seem to be a lot of Vorcha on Omega. Go away. Talk too much. Gabon's box get no more. We leave. Good talking to you. No more talk. We know Gabon's tricks. We leave. <laughs> okay, interesting. This place. How can these people be left to rot like this? You don't understand or you don't want to. Does it really matter? No. Omega has worked this way for a very long time. No one's changing it now. Hmm. Who's Ken? Hello there. Might I interest you in some salvage tech? Everyone oh, really? goes toward a ticket to get me off this forsaken rock. Maybe we can cut a deal. A lot of parts and equipment. Maybe we can make an arrangement. Well, you seem like a decent person, but you can't breathe a word of it to Harry. Of course. Then we have a deal. Whoever Harrod is. Something to you. What brought a nice kid like you to Omega? My pilgrimage. What money I had got stolen within a few days, so I decided to sell salvage parts. You can see how that turned out. Harrod's forcing me to sell high, and I can't even afford a ticket off this station. How much do you need to get off Omega? I still need 1,000 credits to pay my way, but I couldn't let you do that. This is my mistake on my pilgrimage. It's my problem. Here you go. A thousand credits. Get out of here. I... Thank you. With this, I can finally continue on my pilgrimage. It was worth it. Right now. Thank you again. Hey! We managed to help. Hopefully that helps. If not, then... I guess we just... Ah, okay. Okay, so... The power cell used by heavy weapons but can be improved by rebuilding the core. Ah, those are the ones we needed for thingy. Lattice shunting, shepherds get plus 10% health. Shepherds! Multiple shepherds, yes. Um. Geth plasma shotgun. Geth weapons! I'm just getting everything because fuck it. We have enough money to. I like how we're just rich. You can use this. No. Oh. Okay. I heard something about Rachni. Parrot's Emporium. Where are we looking for that? Marsh. I have something here for you. Not much. I'm in the mood to spend some money, but I think I can find better stuff elsewhere. You won't find a better selection anywhere, unless you're willing to risk the black market. Huh. I'd rather deal with you than give money to those thieves. You sure we can't make a deal? Oh, oh sorry. That was a bonk on the mic. I'll do what I can, but don't 
tell anyone or I'll lose my shirt. Uh huh. Okay, so... Oh, we don't have many credits now. Model Torian Cruiser. Fornax. Titillating Alien Magazine. Amazing. I'm gonna... <laughs> I'm buying that just for the fun of it, yes. Where's Harrods Emporium and why does it keep pointing me to it without it being on screen? Ah, here it is. <gasps> Harrod! Tentatively excited. Welcome, human. What can I get for you? What kinds of things do you sell here? Friendly, salvaged parts. All kinds. Mostly legitimate. With mostly legitimate. Prices are the lowest I like how he has a fucking cigarette too. That's so good. I love him. Courteously, have a fine day. Take a look at my kiosk if you want to buy anything. Oh my god, I get little like fucking That's so good. I get little um fucking things. Also, I like these really dirty fucking sheets. Sheets? Not sheets, um Glass. Well, that's just rude. Is that a reference? Is is that a reference to Kotor? Okay, wait. Where are we heading? Where's this door? This goes through to the transport depot, Normandy, I think. Yeah, yeah, it does. And then little, like, um, the fast travel cars. What's in here? Quarantine. Ah, okay, so that's the way to... Quarantine zone is where the thingy is, right? Okay, so there's something happening in the plague sector. All right. I told you to get lost, lady. The plague has the whole zone quarantined. Nobody gets in. I'm human, boss. <coughs> Humans can't get the plague. Now let me get my stuff out before looters get it. This thing affects every other race out there. We're not taking chances. Nobody gets in until the plague has run its course. We can't go in. So you're saying the slums are completely sealed off? Finally, a human that can hear. Yes, that's exactly what I'm saying. You can't keep me out. I'm gonna lose all my stuff. I'm doing you a favor, human. Anybody in the quarantine zone will be dead from the plague of the gangs in a few weeks. I didn't think Omega had any kind of law enforcement. Who gave the order to quarantine the slums? Fresh off the transport, huh? Arya Tilok calls the shots around here. She's got her little blue hands on every business in this district. And a plague is bad for business. She uh. hired us to keep anyone from entering or leaving the quarantine zone. Okay. So you're saying the slums are completely safe? Finally, a human... You yep, I accidentally did that one. Favor, human. Anybody in the quarantine zone will be dead from the plague of the gangs in a few weeks. There's a Solarian named Morden Solis in the slums. I've got to get in there to find him. The doctor? That crazy bastard opened a clinic in the district a few months ago. The Blue Suns weren't too happy when he moved in. I hear Morden's trying to deal with the plague. I wish him luck, but the area is still locked down. Our orders are to wait until either the plague or the Blue Suns kill everyone. Then go in and clean up. Let me in and I'll help. Listen, you're stuck here till this quarantine's over. That could take weeks. What you really need is to get this problem solved right now. That's what I do. Solve problems. Let me in and I'll get this district straightened out. You think you can fix this? Why not? 
quarantine is more to keep infected people in anyway. I'll radio ahead, tell them you're coming in. Hey! Stopping me, but not them? You son of a bitch. You don't have a grenade launcher, lady. <laughs> Beautiful. Fortunately, humans are immune to the plague. Beautiful. Yeah, you just, I don't, just, I don't have, they don't, you don't have a grenade launcher, so I don't really give a shit. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. I am going to go for these two because I cannot be asked with what's his face. Um, choose. Okay. I like how it doesn't let you just choose all guns, you have a specific set. That's quite nice. Hello? Are you gonna let me get past? Stop getting in the way! I'm assuming no one's gonna shoot us just yet. I wonder if there's a way where you break in or, you know, whatever. Oh, fuck. That's not good. There's some people dead. Keep the guns out. I think that's a good idea right now. Don't shoot. They're clear to come in. Okay. So they're not going to kill us. Clear. God, you made me jump, Jacob. Don't shoot. They're clear to come in. You were not happy with the idea of the others. Can I talk to them? No. They're too busy doing their job. Good luck in there. Blue suns and Vorcha shooting anything that moves. Vorcha! Okay. I don't actually know much about the Vorcha, just that they're, yeah. Not the best. They've seen us. Burning corpses. Must be trying to keep the plague from spreading. God. Oh no. Anyone okay? Anyone still alive? Human. Should have guessed. <coughs> Bad enough you infect us with this plague. Now you lack the decency to even wait until I Wait, die. we infected I you? My possessions. <laughs> Is there anything I can do for you? Get away from me, human. <coughs> Your kind has done too much already. Your plague did this to me. Your faint pity is the final insult. Humans didn't create this plague. Lies drip from your mouth like the blood from my sores. The proof is there for all to see. <coughs> your species is the only one that does not succumb to the virus. <coughs> Yours and the wretched Vorcha. I need to find Morden Solus. Humans looking for the human sympathizer. <coughs> I hope the Vorcha burn Morden and his clinic to the ground. <coughs> I hope you... <coughs> I hope... <coughs> Damn it. Damn you. Can't... <coughs> hey, stay with me. This won't cure the plague, but it might help a bit. Oh, thank goodness. Oh, you... you help me. Why? It's what I do. I don't know if I can find a cure for this plague, but I'm gonna try. Your words sound... sincere. <laughs> Maybe it's the fever. But as you said, what have I to lose? What do you wish to know? When I find Morden, I'll tell him about you. If he has a cure, I'll make sure someone gets it to you. <coughs> Thank you. My time is running short, but at least you have given me a flicker of hope to brighten the darkness of my final hours. But the but <coughs> but hold. <laughs> I will risk it if you can reach me. What makes 
Morden worse than dying from the plague. The Blue Sons tried to press him for protection money. He killed them, stunned them with some kind of toxin, then gunned them down. Oh shit. I'm just a doctor. Doctors don't execute people and display the bodies as a warning. He did, they did say. Why are you so convinced humans are behind this outbreak? The plague is too potent to be a naturally occurring virus. Airborne transmission across numerous species, near perfect mortality rate, it had to be created in a lab. And since humans are the only species not affected, there is only one logical conclusion. Aren't the Vorcha immune to the plague? What if they spread the virus so they could take over the district? Vorcha are immune to disease. <coughs> a human created plague wouldn't affect them. But if the Vorcha created the plague, why wouldn't it affect humans? Uh, besides, the Vorcha aren't smart enough to make a virus like this. They're scavengers. <coughs> Sorry, human. <coughs> you may not want to believe it. But all the evidence points to your species. I need to find Morden Solace. He has a clinic on the far side of... I was afraid to go to him before. He is dangerous, but perhaps he can help. You were talking about Vorcha earlier. Yeah. Quarantine. The Blue Suns control this district. But as their numbers fell to the plague, Vorcha moved in. The Blue Suns are fighting to protect their territory. As the plague spreads, it's only a matter of time until the Vorcha overwhelm them. I should go. Goodbye, human. Okay, so we're in the... Okay, there's no map here. Find the matching code segments, locate and select the code that matches the code displayed at the top left corner of the screen. Avoid red codes. Top left? Top left? Is this it? Hang on, that. Hang on. No. No, 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 no. It was... Um... It was... Wait, where was it? Hang on. There, wait, no, it's changed. I saw it, but hang on, is that it? The co the segments that match, the segments that match, um, that, and then, wait, that, there, wait, what? There we go, perfect. Nice, 5,000, nice. Okay. Which way is it to go? I like how pretty this place is. It looks very pretty. Bypass. Ah, so this is one of the... Okay, the, the, the hacking games are much less frustrating than in the previous game. That's good. Okay, perfect. And the objective is that way. So we're going to go this way first. Fuck it. This is fine. I'm going to get my guns out, though, just in case. So Hmm, interesting. Why are the blue suns in here if um they're susceptible to the plague because they're Turians? That's intriguing. Slightly worrying too. 
Ammo Plaza. Are these just... Oh shit, that took down my fucking... Jesus! Okay, time to switch over to the heavy ones. Oh shit. Nice. Is that everyone? I think that's everyone. Nice. Come in handy. Okay. How are we doing in terms of the objective? It's this way, apparently. Anything I'm missing, though? It seems like there's some other stuff happening here, so we may as well go and do that. Right. How does this work? Uh, these... God, is that... Yeah. Um, that to there... And then that to there, and then that to there. Okay. Beautiful. And then how's this looking? Okay, these are friends. Right. Ever since this plague started, the Blue Suns have been out to get us. They're killing as many people as the disease. Oh, why are they after you? Yeah. The Blue Suns hunting Neil. We didn't do anything. Pretty much every non-human in the district wants us dead. They think we caused the plague. Humans aren't getting sick, and that's all the evidence they need. God knows how many of us they've already killed. I mean, the fortune, not us. Ever since the plague hit, they've been taking over Blue Suns territory. Hmm. You said the Vorcha moved in just after the plague hit? Right after the district was quarantined. Vorcha are immune to diseases, so they're not getting sick. Not sure where they came from. Never saw many Vorcha around before. Sure seemed hmm. like they were ready for this. Only nobody thinks the Vorcha are smart enough to create a virus like this. The Blue Suns need someone else to blame. Like us. It does seem a little you said the too... Over Blue Suns territory? Yeah. Perfect. Don't go down easy. The plague softened them up, but they still have enough firepower to hold some of their turf. The turrets oh. are getting pushed back. The deeper you go into the district, the more Vorcha you'll see. Unless they see you first. Ah, okay. What else can you tell me about the plague? When did it start? The first cases cropped up about two weeks ago. Nobody paid much attention until it started to spread. Usually takes about a week to kill you, but it spreads fast. Three days after the first outbreak, there were over 50 known cases. That's when everyone noticed humans weren't getting sick. Then the quarantine came down and everything went to hell. <coughs> how does it spread? Any idea how the victims contracted it? Not sure. Probably airborne. Even after the Blue Suns started sealing victims up inside their own apartments, the plague kept spreading. Now they just gun victims down and burn the bodies in the streets. Doesn't seem to be helping, though. People are dying by the dozens. Tell me more about the Blue Suns. They're a mercenary gang, mostly Turian. Used to run this district. Kept things nice and stable for the most part. As long as you paid your monthly protection fees, everything was cool. Rates were pretty reasonable. For Omega, at least. The yeah. The plague hit. Everyone started dying. The Vorta started moving in. The Blue Suns lost control and the whole district turned into a war zone. Okay. I need to find Morden Solus. Oh, yeah. Him. He's got a clinic on the other side of the district. Heard he's taking in refugees now. 
trying to help plague victims, offering protection from the Suns and the Vorcha. Sure, a doctor with military-grade mechs helping people for free. On Omega, grow up. You can't stay trapped in this apartment. If you get to Morden's, you might at least survive until the quarantine ends. Yeah. What? We'd never make it. The streets are crawling with blue suns and Vorcha. We don't even have pistols. I mean, we're gonna clear it out. Probably. Salarian might offer me sanctuary. I know you're scared, but your only hope is to get to Morden's clinic. I'm gonna be under fire from the blue suns and the Vorcha, so I can't take you with me. But I promise you this. I'll do what I can to leave a safe path for you to follow me. It's risky, but I think it's your only chance. Okay. You're right. We'll never make it if we stay here. We have to try. We'll wait here for a while and give you time to clear the way. Then we'll head for Morden's clinic. If we're okay, right. awesome. Maybe we'll meet you there. Great. Can I just nick stuff from your house? Is that okay? Yep, seems to not matter. I guess they don't care, really. They're just happy that I'm not trying to kill them. Okay, good. Um... Let's head upwards and outwards. Oh, upwards and outwards. Up and out. Um, upwards and outwards. Just like... Just like... Talk, just go up the stairs and just inflate like a balloon. Um... Right. Oh shit! This is so cool. Varen! Oh shit. God, this fucking sniper rifle! I wish that he didn't have ammo, but hey. Ow, 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 ow! Right. Shoot. Fuck. I made a mistake. Um, I'm gonna switch over to my pistol. Right. How do we get... How do we get down? Oh shit, they have a fucking Krogan. That's bad. Okay, thank fuck. Um, and then I'm going to quickly do... That! Oh god, I love that. The powers are much more interesting in this game. Okay, right, over this way. Take out some of these bastards. Oh god, they are fucking... Rips through shields. Right. I'm jumping up. Nice! Okay, so we're good at the whole sneak, just flanking thing. That's good. The Blue Suns have given up a lot of turf. That doesn't bode well for them. Hmm. That is slightly worrying. I don't know how ammo works. Whether there's like ammo for specific guns, or if it's just by um. Yeah, okay, so that way to the objective. This way is to the not objective. Hmm, this place looks like a little... Like, lab type thing. Hey, what's up? Hey, what did I say? We found this stuff, it's ours. Ah, oh, forget it. Nothing but junk in here. This place is worse than the last one. Who are you? What are you doing in this apartment? Did you kill that Turian? What, the guy on the floor? Nah, the plague took care of him. We're just here to take a full accounting of all his worldly possessions. I don't like looters. Dead. That's pretty low. 
What's the big deal? It's not like they're gonna miss anything. We're just showing a little entrepreneurial spirit. The plague doesn't affect humans, so we might as well cash in. Mm. Besides, if we don't take this stuff, the Vorcha or Blue Suns will. Better us than them, right? No more looting. Oh, what? You're gonna shoot us? This plague won't last forever. When the Blue Suns come back, they won't like you looting in their territory. Yeah, well, maybe they won't find out. Not like there's any witnesses alive to tell them. Are some dead Turian's trinkets and a handful of credits worth that risk? We just wanted to make a bit of quick cash. Yeah. But when you put it like that, it doesn't sound like such a good idea. Exactly. Anyway. Yeah, you're probably right. It's not worth it. I'm looking for someone. You know a Solarian named Morden Solace? Yeah, I know him. Got a clinic right around the corner. Take plenty of ammo if you go that way. It's crawling with blue suns and Vorcha. Okay, we're getting closer. We need to get going. Yeah, sure. We'll just stay here for a while. Get some rest. Don't worry, you made your point. We ain't gonna steal nothing. I mean, you can steal something. Just don't take too much. Don't take, like... I don't know. If you... Take what you need. Take what you need and nothing else if you need anything. But I don't think you needed anything. Okay, so you can just use this to, like, follow the objective of it. Cool. That's quite nice. Right. Where the fuck is the objective? This place is a bit of a maze. Okay. The fact that that took a second is worrying me. Clinic with a weird... Right, we're heading the right way. Good. Oh. Zero Hello. Contacts. No funny business once you're in the clinic, unless you want to deal with those mechs. Okay, so they have mechs. Good to know that they're defended, properly defended. Nicole. Morden's around here somewhere. Uh, go talk to him. We need all the help we can get. Sorry, too busy to stop and chat. You should go find Morden. Morden saved my life. I owe him everything. Anyone else here? On our way here, we saw humans looting the apartments of the dead. It made me sick. Professor, we're running low on Suboxone. Could you use Melanorin? Plenty on hand. Almost as good. Causes cramping in the Terran. Supplement with Butemerol. Melanorin and Butemerol. Got it. Senazine is the catalyst. Bonds to genetic markers. Hard to find. Expensive to mass produce. Why not have Butemerol? Too unstable. Inconsistent result. What's this? Okay, Metagel capacity up. So exploration directly leads to upgrades. That's quite nice. Hello, Morden. Let's talk to you. Professor Morden Solis. Hmm. Don't recognize you from area. Too well armed to be refugees. No mercenary uniform. Quarantine still in effect. Here for something else. Vorcha. Crew to clean them out. Unlikely. Vorcha a symptom, not a cause. The plague. Investigating possible use as bioweapon. No, no, no. Too many guns. Not enough data equipment. Soldiers, not scientists. Yes, yes. Hired guns, maybe. Looking for someone. Yes, Relax, yes. Morton. I'm Commander Shepard, and I came here to find you. I'm on a critical mission, and I need your help. Mission? What mission? No, 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 no. Too busy. Clinic understaffed. Plague spreading too fast. Who sent you? It's a covert and privately funded human group. Related to plague. Doesn't affect humans. Human-centric interest. Few human groups would know me. Equipment suggests military origin. Not Alliance standard. Spectres. Not human. Terra firma too unstable. Only one option. Cerberus sent you. Unexpected. Hmm. You're very well informed. How did a Solarian scientist hear about Cerberus? Crossed paths on occasion. Thought they only worked with humans. Why request Solarian aid? The Collectors are kidnapping entire human populations. We're gonna find out why and stop them. Collectors? Interesting. Plague hitting these slums is engineered. Collectors one of few groups with technology to design it. Our goals may be similar, but must stop Plague first. Oh, so the Collectors might be doing it. And the reason they're not taking out humans is for exactly the same reason. Oh. 
Oh fuck. That's a bad what sign. What the hell was that? Forge have shut down environmental systems. Trying to kill everyone. Need to get power back on before district suffocates. Here, take plague cure. Also, bonus in good faith. Weapon from Dead Blue Sun's mercs may come in handy against Forge. One more thing, Daniel, one of my assistants, went into Forge territory. He's lost one of his antenna. Hasn't come back. I'll keep an eye out. If I see him, I'll do what I can to help. Thank you. Told him not to go. But he's smart. Bright future. I hope. I found a Batarian plague victim near the entrance to the neighborhood. Can you send someone to help him? Hmm. Risky. Blue Sun's Forge are still battling. District not secure. See what I can do. Have you had any trouble at the clinic? Nothing major. Blue Suns came for humans, made threats, killed them before things escalated. Okay. That's nothing. You're awfully calm about taking out a group of mercs. Wasn't always a doctor. Some work with Salarian Special Tasks group. Can handle myself. Advantage of being Salarian. Turians, Krogan, Forcha, all obvious threats. Never see me coming. Ha! <laughs> That's quite cool. Environmental plant. Okay. I'm just gonna loot the place, don't mind me. I mean, guess if I'm... Guess if I'm working on a thing, then it's fine. But like... Okay, right. I think I'm gonna leave it there. Um, it has been a good stream. I've been enjoying this. This is a much more interesting game than Mass Effect 1 when it opened. I... I'm more interested in this. This is much more up my street. So, I will leave it here, and we will be doing more of this on Thursday. Um... Thursday evening, same time. So, yeah, for now, thank you very much, everyone, for coming along, and I hope you enjoyed the stream. We will be continuing as Shepard cures a plague, uh, gets a Solarian doctor on the case of the missing, you know, humans, and I guess, uh, I don't know, something else? Anyway, see you in a bit. And goodbye, everyone. Have a great day.